So we've got part bass tournament, part rock concert here. At Alabama Bass Trail. It's all part of part of the program. You get the uh, the rock concert free with entry. All right, we're going to try and find a happy medium out here. Uh, welcome everybody to the Alabama Bass Trail. And those are watching on the alabamabasstrail.org, people around the country, around the world for that matter, are watching this event. My name is Robbie Floyd. I'll be uh, your MC up here. We'll talk with Jody here in just a moment. Uh, Jody Harrison will be the Waymaster, and Kay Donaldson will talk with her in uh, just a moment as well. But I'd like to welcome everybody here to the 2015 Alabama Bass Trail. Neely Henry, it's our second stop of the Northern Division. We have five Northerns, five Southerns. We get the best from the North and South, put them together. They have a championship later on in October. We crown an Angler of the Year on both sides. We crown a, a champion um, throughout the event. Some of these guys will try or they're all trying to qualify to eventually maybe make it to the Bassmaster Classic through the team championship which if they make it through here certain uh, numbers depending on how many are entries we have in the north and how the, how many in the south will move on and hopefully qualify for the Bassmaster Classic it's happened uh, last year we're hoping that somebody from this uh, region makes it next year those of you watching on Alabama Bass Trail I know um, it's a chilly day in Alabama here. You can't really feel that. It was 70-something degrees. Now it was, what, 20-something, 30 this morning. It, it take off 32 degrees. There was ice all over the place down on the dock. So hopefully it will not affect the fish. I believe somebody's weighed in a little earlier. Mike Johnson, Lisa Johnson, uh, brought in uh, 11 pounds for their uh, weight, so they did weigh in a little earlier. One thing I want to point out is the people that are behind me, the people that help support the sport of bass fishing here in Alabama, and you'll notice several of them around the country. But people like Bill Penny Toyota, Phoenix Boats, Garmin, Academy, Sweet Home Alabama, Yeti Coolers, every one of these sponsors helps contribute money, items, to help our sponsors out. And without them, this event would not be possible. So whenever you see one of these, these sponsors, one of these people, whether it be Powerpole or Frog Togs or TNH Marine, Jet Pep, when you see one of these sponsors and you have an option between it and another one, maybe you decide to choose this because they help support the sport of bass fishing here in Alabama. I am from Texas, but I, I call this place my second home. It has been uh, last year as well as this year. I'm glad to be a part of it, uh, hopefully for as many stops as I can make this year. Um, the only other fishing tournaments I get to do are the Bassmaster Classic. I got to do that one in the Toyota Texas Bass Classic. So this series is on par with them. There's some strong sticks in here, guys, that I've covered, whether it be the uh, Bassmaster Elite Series or the FLW Tour. I've been on uh, both of those tours on the MC duties, and I've talked with some of these guys before they're really approachable they're back there in the tanks right now we'll talk about the weigh-in system how it's different than the other weigh-in systems here in just a moment speaking of Bassmaster Elite Series I'm seeing my boy Matt Heron over there you might have seen him on Bassmaster TV on the weekends there's Matty Heron and his nice Yamaha hat and his Skeeter gear he's got a weekend off and he still checks out bass fishing I'll talk with you in a minute maybe Matt we can get it out there but, uh, Kay, you want to come on up here for just a second? I'd like to bring up the lady who's responsible for the Alabama Bass Trail, the program director for the Alabama Bass Trail, Miss Kay Donaldson. Kay, come on up here and welcome back. Uh, it's our second year. How about a round of applause for Kay? She brought this whole event here, or part of what brought this whole event here. Second year on the Alabama Bass Trail, and it's bigger and better than ever. You know it is. Uh, we added $100,000 to our payout this year. We're paying down from 11th to 40th $500, which is double these guys' entry fees. Um, you know, we upped our uh, amount of anglers that we have this year. We have 206 boats. I think we blasted off 204 this morning. So uh, things are growing and things are great for the Alabama Bass Trail. We have great crowds wherever we go, but somehow Neely Henry always shows out. And you talk about showing out. Last year, this lake was the overall heaviest weighted lake on the entire 11 stops of the Alabama Bass Trail. So over 2,100 pounds of bass were weighed in here last year. It was a great tournament. We had a fantastic meeting last night. The blast off went easy this morning. So um, just glad to be back in Gadsden. It was amazing how smooth 200 plus boats left this morning. Nice facility here, the boat ramp, plenty of you know truck parking, everything else. As we hear sirens going over us for those of you watching out. But a good facility and that's really what part of the Alabama Bass Trail is about is showcasing the facilities around the state of Alabama. You know, showcasing the facilities, you know, a lot of this stuff that we go to are quality of life services that these people enjoy every day. 
but a number of these anglers, this is the first time they visited here, and we're showcasing our state, showcasing the fishing, the hospitality, the great food, everything that uh, visitors and visiting anglers want to see when they come to the state of Alabama. Showcasing the anglers as well. Uh, a guaranteed purse. Somebody's going to walk away with $10,000 today for our winner. You know, in two of the three tournaments that we've had already, they've walked away with 17000 because of the great boat companies that offer such great contingency money. You know, Phoenix, the $7,000 first flight, we've had one of those cashed in this year. So, you know, $17,000 for a team tournament. You're fishing with your buddy, your best friend. Someone you picked. Someone you picked to fish for five fish together instead of in opposition of each other. So that means a lot to these guys. They're making memories. They're sharing stories sharing a lot of what we call fish tales. They could be lies, they could be 95% true. But, you know, it was this big. But, uh, you know, a lot of good guys. Um, I get a chance to talk to them on Friday night and get to know how things are going. And um, just thank the world of these guys, thank the world of these sponsors, our team, all of our fans that watch on Facebook. I'm amazed every, every month when I look at our uh, amount of people that watch the live streaming. Almost about 10,000 people watch this amateur trail, and that's amazing. About 9,500 people are watching our live leaderboard. So that says a lot for what we're doing here, what this team is doing, and what these anglers are doing out on the water. Thank you, Kay. Thank you for being a part of this event. I know there's thousands of people behind the camera right now, but I'd like to ask everyone to please stand up, take off your hats, pay tribute to our soldiers here in the U.S. and around the world for the playing of our national anthem. What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the Harrison doing a great job with the national anthem as he sings it each and every week. Matt, you want to come up here for a second? Come on up here. I'd like to introduce my friend. I said he was over to the side. My, my buddy, Matt Heron. How about a round of applause for him? Bassmaster Elite Series Pro. Good to have you, buddy. I, I show up. You know, I, I follow you on you know, Bassmaster.com, and then I look over there, and you're like, hey, what are you doing coming to a bass fishing event on your week off? Well, this is where all my buddies are at. This is where I grew up. This is where it started my dream. And uh, when I'm at home, I love to come hang out with them. What is it? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you see a tournament like this of this magnitude that Kay and the group have put together. I mean, it's pretty special. I mean, it's big time. Yeah, it really is, you know. It gives these guys an opportunity. they got a passion and desire to fish, and this organization is given an opportunity to go out and pursue and do what they love to do, and it's great. And I'm glad to see the state of Alabama and everybody's behind it. They get a little taste of what you have to deal with. There's 200 guys that hit the water today. Uh, I'm sure this cold weather probably didn't help them none, huh? No, you know, but these guys are amazing. They'll catch them. It, uh, this bunch of river rats right here is about as good as they get, and I had to compete against them. That's probably why I've done as well as I have, because to beat these guys, you had to really do your homework. You're an honorary fisherman today. Tell me, what's it going to take to win this thing, you think, even uh, the way the conditions are? Uh, this old river is going to spit out 18 to 25 pounds of somebody. 18, 18 or 25? 
Yeah, I think somewhere between 18 and 20 too. Be good. Goodbye. All right, that's heard from Matt Heron. Get his autograph. He's more than happy to sign him. Matt Heron, my buddy from the Bassmaster Elite Series. And he's a local pro as well. He got to start somewhere. But now I'd like to bring out Jody. Jody, where are you at? He's hiding behind me. We're going to bring out our Waymaster, Jody Harrison. Come on over here. It's time to weigh some fish. We've already brought however many uh, to the scales. We've got about six boats that have come across. Our leader is? Uh, right now, our leader is Mike and Lisa Johnson. They've, they're leading about 11 pounds right now. So I think we're going to see a lot bigger weights than that today. I think, you know, we're going to see some good weights. All right, let's start moving the guys up into the tanks. Let everybody know a little bit about this process. It's an in-water weigh-in. They never leave the water except to be uh, measured. That's right, and even at that point, I mean, you know, we got a sink back there that stays full of water. You know, we keep them in the, uh, the troughs and uh, bring them up on stage and keep them in water. So it's definitely the most healthy system for the fish. So keep them in the water, put them back out in the water so you at home uh, that are watching will come here another day and you can catch these very fish that they caught today. All right, let's bring them on up. It's boat number 10, Gary Fleming and Emily Blanton. You need 11 pounds to take the lead. Man, you were fast. You were on it today. How'd it go? Uh, it's a tough day for us. We, uh, we struggled pretty hard, but finally managed to catch four keepers. Four bass, 818. That's my birthday, so that's a good number out there. I know you wanted that fifth one. <laughs> Yeah, we did. Yeah, I had I, I thought I had the fifth one on, and when we got to the boat, unfortunately, it was a big drum. That was a heartbreaker. Drum tournament, you'd been all right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, good having you here. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Bring up our next pair, Ken Callahan, Gerald Brewer, and boat 11. All right, I'm looking on there. I'm seeing three bass, not five. What happened? Did you ever have the other two? Never had the other two on. So no shorts or anything. Let's find out what these three weigh. Three weigh in 646, about a two-pound average. We'll see you the next stop. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. All right, we move on to our next boat. I believe it's boat 32, Justin Graves and Jamie McGee. Again, uh, each one of the guys, and let the guys behind know that we do have the in-water weigh-in, but as you move up, there's always one in the, in the tank there, and then we'll bring it up here. But once you sit in that tank, you know they'll slap your hand, won't they? They definitely will. Let's find out what you've got today. I get a five-fish limit. You need 11 to take the lead. 969, just couldn't find the size. We couldn't find the size. We actually called all, all five of them in the last 45 minutes. So hey, Never give up. Hey, better than nothing. Yeah, I bet you're happy then right now. The way it goes, they had over eight hours of fishing on the water today. If you don't catch anything all day, you're going, son of a gun, son of a gun. But when you can catch a limit in that last 45, you just got to count your blessings and be glad you got those five. Joel Green and Mike Harrison should be the next ones up. Step on over here, guys. I'm seeing five bass. You got 11 pounds? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yes or no? Let me know. Yes. All right. He says he's got it. Let's find out. We need to weigh a big fish, too. So no matter what, we're going to find out with the big fish. He's got more than 11. 1270, our new leader is here. Joel Green and Mike Harrison. How about a round of applause? We set a new leader. All right. What's your big one? What's it going to weigh? Four. Four? Oh, you got a good one in. Let's find out. You can, pick, you can pick out which one. I don't think that's a hard decision right there, guys. He, even a blind man can feel around that one and know that. That's the one. There you go. Extra $500, right, Kay? Extra $500 for our Mountain Dew Big Bass, I believe. Uh, we'll set the tone. You thought it was four, three, and three quarters. 3.78. Not bad. Close. close. I had the hiccups there for a second. Hey, you're in the lead. Thank you. Both ends. Thank you, sir. Yeah, grab one. Go ahead and grab the bass. Let's go ahead and grab it over here. Go ahead and grab it, and we can, you know, Dan, Dan O'Sullivan here. Dan O, he's, a, he's local as it gets. He's from Gadsden. You see him on Advanced Angler. He's doing the scribing and the pictures for us this weekend. How long did it take you to get to the boat ramp? Eight minutes. Yeah, that's pretty local. Yeah, give it to Jimmy Houston. The farther you hold it out, the bigger it looks. Yeah. As Dano said, he just came here to see me. Harris Housley and Anthony Bramlett were in boat number eight. I'm seeing four bass on there. Will they be the four that puts you over that, that leader mark? Not, not going to happen, huh? What was happening on the water? Uh, we, they was dead for us all day long. It's hard, huh? Let's... Last 45 minutes an hour. Dude, that's twice now. I've heard. What, what was it? I don't know. I don't know. 8.38 for those four, so it'll get you points. Points. That's what you got to look at right now. Thank you, sir. Smith Lake, our next Northern Division tournament. Dan, are you coming? All right, just making sure. Blake Hall and Dustin Connell, they've won before at first stop, right? At, uh, on the south, right? Wasn't it, Seth? On the south, they've won already this year. They got five bass. They need 1270 to take the lead. 
boom, 15 pounds, a new leader. So the winners on the south are in the lead now in the north. Why would you fish both? There's the answer, right? That's right. That $10,000 looks good. Wouldn't it 20 be better? Yeah, I'm ready to catch them again. I don't know. How about it today, though? You caught 15, you take the lead. Were you doing anything in particular to catch them? No, we uh, we actually had like one fish at 12, and we had to switch it up. We grinded that out. I'm, I'm happy about that. Did you change the presentation or the area? Uh, changed the whole deal. We caught those real shallow. And then later in the day? Yep. Do you think it may be a daytime thing? Uh, the later in the day might bite might be better? Yeah, I think the guys that get to fish a little longer, they're, you're going to see a lot bigger bags come in. Okay, let's take a look at uh, what your biggest one will weigh. Our big bass currently 378. You got that now over four pounds, four and a quarter, exactly 4.25. So it's good. Hall and Canal, 1270 was the leader. Now we're at 15 pounds. It's a good day for those guys. We'll see how long it can stay there. Go ahead and grab a, go ahead and grab a couple bass. 15 pounds taking the lead, four and a quarter for the big, the Mountain Dew Big Bass. Mountain Dew, the official drink of the Alabama Bass Trail. Find your X's, Dano, get the picture. If they had Kodak discs, Kay would have it because she's going to get you with a Kodak disc. Yeah, yeah, don't don't mess around. Kay's got to get her picture. It'll be in on Facebook in like 2.2 seconds. Congratulations, guys. Good job. Jake Gibson, Kyle Worsham, come on over here. Five bass limits what I'm hearing. Will it be enough to get that 15-pound mark? Not even close. Really? What happened? How, how many total bass do you think you caught today? Uh, maybe seven. Seven. Well, let's find out what these five. Spots, largemouth, what? Mix. A blended bag. Were you targeting one, or are they just in the air, same area? I'm clueless out here right now. so I was, You caught five. I'm just trying to catch a fish. You did. You caught five. You caught seven. 11 21, not too bad. Good job. I'm happy. Congratulations, Ed. <laughs> Good job. Don't be disappointed when you get a five-ass limit. You never know uh, what was it. It, it was Gunnerville. I think 13-something was a paycheck, right? Seemed like 13-some-odd pounds was a paycheck, and you would never, ever think that would be the case at Gunnersville in the wintertime. Justin Marlowe and Tom Frank got three bass on the day, 7.56. Just wasn't happening, huh? No, I just kind of gambled on something and it didn't work. So. What were you trying to do? Sight fish. Sight fish? Yeah. Did you, so you saw them? Yeah, our better one came that way, and then some were gone, broke one off, just... Stop. Live and die by the side fish. It's tough. Exactly. All right. Good job on, on catching what you did out there. So side fish, so they are getting ready for sexy time. It looks like Heath Green, Forest Hill, got three bass. You see any uh, side fish and fish out there? Yeah, we, we caught them shallow. That's how we caught them. They're just roaming around? Oh, yeah. Free spawn stuff. Let's find out 771 for those three bass. Where'd you finish in the other tournament in Gunnersville? Bad. Remember. Yeah, it was bad. You tried to erase it. Well, I won't talk to you more about it. Thank you for catching that. 771 on your total today. John Wellborn, Wesley Sams. Again, we can go through these pretty quick because you have 200 and plus boat, 200 plus boats hopefully coming across stage today. Wellborn and Sams, you got five bass. Good job. The ABT gear. We're looking. Look, I got mine on there too. You're trying to get some extra money from Alabama Bass Trail. 15 pounds to take the lead. 1482 that is close but how do you feel your day went after all said and done well based on practice we thought we had a pretty good day because we didn't catch them in practice of course you don't want to win practice you want to win the tournament so that's exactly right what'd you do what'd y'all change up not much just did the same stuff but the fish came to you they have it all right guys congratulations good job our top finishing abt go ahead and grab some of those bass you're looking good in your alabama bass trail gear hopefully uh get an extra kick back what 250 dollars for Alabama Bass Trail, if you're the highest finisher with the ABT gear on. I want to remind everybody, if you have a truck and trailer in that Dollar General parking lot, you need to move it as quick as possible, please. If you got a truck and trailer over there in Dollar General, please move it quickly when you can. All right, Tim Cummings, Will Davis. You've been here before. Come on over here. Show me what you got. You had no not to touch that thing. How many times? How many times I got to tell you? How did it go today? Uh, it's pretty tough. Uh, I reckon we used up all our luck last year, so I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out what you got. Four bass go to weigh. Is that right? 434? Yeah. How did that? I mean, did they just downsize that much for practice, or was practice not that good as well? 
I caught a couple in practice yesterday that was better than that. So now, you were the uh, last year's angler of the year for the Northern Division. Throw in your Gunnersville. I mean, it, you you got to start turning it on. Oh, I know it. We're way behind eight ball right now compared to a lot of these guys. It's uh, pushing it right now. You got three more tournaments to get it going. Oh yeah, we'll rebound. Let's do it. Thank you guys. We'll see you. Will Davis, Tim Cummings were the uh, Northern Division Anglers of the Year last year. Are having a hard time this year. Tim Hurst, Mark McCaig. Look at that, 15.53, is that right? You're taking over the lead? Yeah, it probably won't last. Look really at long. you, just shaking your head. Yeah, 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 it wasn't a good day out there is what you're telling me? No, that's actually about what I thought we could possibly catch, you know, uh, without some without some miracle or something, you know, a real big fish. Any certain presentation or bait that uh, was key today? Uh, well, we just went fishing this morning. I found five or six on the bed, but they were real shallow, and I figured other people would find them, and so we just kind of went fishing, and this afternoon, about... 1.30, we started going looking for some, and we caught three, two or three of the ones off that we weighed in off bed. Some of the other ones that you left, they weren't big ones, I take it. I mean, your big one, you might spend a little time. They were just the three-pounders like that. I mean, these are the ones I found. Good job, though. It worked. Congratulations. Go ahead and grab a couple of those bass. You took over the lead and uh, hold them up there for Dano and K.O. <laughs> yep. Oh, my gosh. Dano Sullivan, I called her... He's Dano, and they said KO. He said she is a knockout. <laughs> so he is full cheese mode here. Tim Hurst, Mark McKay, 15 53 in the lead. Let's bring up Charlie Hodel again, uh, our, our next pair, Hodel and Pierce. How did it go today for you guys? I see two on there. It was rough. It was a little rough for us. How cold was it this morning? Did you make a long drive? No, we didn't make a long drive, and I'm glad because it was. Really <laughs> Maybe they were all down there. Uh, much boat traffic we had while we were that that way. There were a lot of them up that way. Really? So a lot, lot turned right instead of left. Let's find out. 358 for your total today. How'd you do at Gunnersville? Uh, big zero. You did better than Gunnersville. You're on a roll now. You're starting to build from here, right? Slow start for us this year. Slow. It happens. You got three more. You got three more tournament stops here on the on the north. Scott Luster, David Frog, five bass. We got 15 pounds in there. No, if I had. Four more like the good one I have, I would have. So you got one good one. How'd you catch it? Let's find out what your uh, five bass five for 901. What, uh, how'd you catch a good one? A uh, slider. Okay. Um, what were you doing most of the day? Fishing? Uh, we went large mouth fishing, couldn't catch them, so we just went to get five fish. Anything else? All right, let's find out what your big one weighs. Our leader right now, the big one, four and a quarter. You don't think it's going to make I don't think it'll make four and a quarter either, do you? No. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it. We'll see you at the next stop. At Smith Lake, let's bring up our next pair. Chris Canute, Chase Canute, five bass. Good job. Congratulations. I, hey, talk to him. Oh, you did them all today? No, four of them's mine. Four of them? Say, so you got one. I got one. Were so you I, netting? Wait, what? Were you netting? Wait, what? Netting? netting? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, then you caught them all, except for one. 10 28, not a bad day. Hey, look at that. Points, points. Points, definitely. Uh, I'd like to thank Kate. Hey, a round of applause for the little man here. Got a little big man now. Right. Uh, I'd like to thank Kate for the Alabama Bass Trail. This is an awesome trail. Love to fish it. And then uh, thank all y'all Fish Life for uh, helping us out. You'd like to make that team championship, right? I'd hope so. Well on your way. Congratulations. Good job. Thank you. All right. Miles Palmer, Matt Palmer, come on over here. Three bass. You go super fast, Frank. How'd it go today? A little rough. A little, little rough. The water rough? Uh, water wasn't too bad, it's just the fish was. They didn't want to cooperate. Let's find out with these three way. Three bass, looks like about a two pound average. 628, what were you doing? Uh, we were throwing a William Davis jig and his shaky head. All over. So light and big, whatever. Somebody bite this thing. And the net man knocked one off, it would have weighed what those three did. Was that you or him? Me. Oh, that's tough. Well, at least you called yourself out. Thank you, sir. Trent Mays, Mike Godfrey, come on over here. Two bass. See, one good one of those two out there. Who caught that? Me. Me. <laughs> caught both of them, huh? When are you going to get a new partner? Uh, hopefully next tournament. <laughs> <laughs> That's just wrong. Right, Six, 645. Uh, how would you catch them? They were pretty shallow. Yeah? So what were you throwing? We caught them on jigs and rattle traps. Okay. Thank you. You don't, you don't go, yeah, weigh the big one. Let's find out. I think we know which one it is. Think it'll be four and a quarter? 
I don't know. It's gonna be pretty close. You'd like an extra kickback for Mountain Dew, wouldn't you? Some for you down? Do you split it? Even though, do you have a gentleman's agreement in the boat? Whoever catches it doesn't make a difference. You just split the prize. Usually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Let's find out. Four and a quarter. Will it be enough? Four thirty-five. It got it by a tenth of a pound. Congratulations, our new leader on our Mountain Dew Big Bass. Go ahead and grab it and hold it up there for Dano. Man, I know that the, what is it, the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trails here. We got a lot of golf clappers out there. You hear that? Very, very soft clapping group. Good job. Hang on, let, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and throw it back in there really quick. Congratulations, guys, our leader for our Mountain Dew Big Bass. All right, let's go to our next pair. Josh Ritchie and Corey Jones. I'm seeing five bass limit. That's what you needed to get, and it looks like you got it. Good day. We did. We had a pretty good day. Started you kind of got a grin on your face. Is it a really good day? Uh, not really good, but it was good for us. Why do you say that? We've had uh, last year five bad tournaments. Didn't weigh more than seven pounds last year. so. But this year is going to change. Let's find out what these five weigh. I see that one real good one over there, too, huh? You might even take the big bass. We'll weigh and see. Who caught it? You or him? He did. All right, let's find out. Corey Jones, 1368. Not going to take the lead, but that's, those are some good points. Let's find out what our Mountain Dew big bass may be, and I do think you're going to take that. I think it's over that 431. I, I've been wrong before. And Corey caught it, right? He did. What did he catch it on? Uh, square bill. Square bill. Bouncing it off of what? Rocks. Okay. Thank you. Did you throw it a bunch as well? All of those except one came off of square bill. Came off square bill. Let's find it. Oh, I said it was going to be it. It was too close. Not going to do it. 431 is what you needed. 428. Good. Three one hundredths of a pound. But, hey, congratulations. That was a good catch. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. So 428. I can't call them right. I, I'm off. My my guess my guessometer, guessometer is not working. Michael Bryant, Mike Garrett, how'd it go for you? Not too good. Shaking your head, hands in your pocket. Watch out. Stand up on the X's. Three bass, huh? Did you catch them or your partner? Uh, both of us. Both. So, mixed between the boat, at least, so he doesn't get all the bragging rights. Heard guys talking yesterday, whoever caught the least had to come up on stage. I didn't know if that was the it was the rule. So, those three bass weigh in 607, so a two-pound average. We'll see you at Smith Lake, right? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. Bring out our next pair. Perry Clanton and Greg Wyatt, three bass is what I'm hearing. Mixed bag, did you both catch them? Yes. Yep. What were you doing today? Jig worm. Jig and a worm. Both of you look good in that Alabama Bass Trail gear. <laughs> Definitely need it today. I, I've got the I got the Frog Togs jacket on. It's chilly out there. Let's find out what you got. Those bass weighing 702 for your total today. It'll help for the points, right? That's what we're looking for. Thank you, sir. Glad to have you both. All right, let's bring up our next pair. Come on over here. Step on my exes. Ty Campbell, Mark Meyer, five bass. I'm seeing a, a list of fives coming on. Five good ones? Not five good ones. Just five. Just five. How many total did you catch today? Uh, probably 10 or 11. Oh, so that's good. Every time you catch one, you say this could be the one. Did you catch any non-bass species? Uh, yeah, I caught a good catfish. Oh, man, that's nice. Started rolling on you, though, huh? You knew this. Something ain't right. Five bass weighing 881. It'll add up for points. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be ready for Smith. All right, we'll see you there. Thank you, sir. Another five bass limit for Mitch Mitchell and Jordan Green. Five bass, that's what you need to catch, and that's what you did is a good, a good five. It's pretty good bag. All right, good enough to take over the lead. What's our leader? 1553. You got that much? I believe so. Oh, now I'm hearing it. Yeah. He can speak confidently. 1553. Bam. We've got 1931. Almost a 20 pound bag for Mitchell and Green. How about a bigger round of applause for them? Almost 20. That's why you come up here with that little grin. Do you have a big one in there that'll go 431? We got one close. All right. How was it? What were you fishing with today? Uh, we're throwing a swim bait. Swim bait. Okay, so guys, some of the West Coast stuff. We're doing it here now. You know, no shaky head type. You were all big, big fish wagon, huh? Swim bait all day. All right, so let's find out. Let's find out what your big fish is. And I say that because uh, it seemed like on the West Coast, especially around Lake Castaic, and a lot of West Coast lakes, those swim baits were really popular. Big swim bait, little swim bait. What? What size? Uh, five and a half inch. Five and a half. So typical to the bait fish around here. Let's find out. We need 431. 
447, so a new leader on the Mountain Dew Big Bass. It's going to be a good day no matter what. Great day on the water. Yeah, we had a good day. We caught a ton of fish today. It was a, it was a fun day. How many total? I'd probably say between 30 and 40. Oh, man, that's a good day on the water. I want to, come, I want to go out with you. Go ahead and grab a couple of those bad boys and, and hold them up. Said he caught 30 to 40 bass out there. They're the leaders with 1931. Their largest bass is almost four and a half pounds. That's a good day fishing, and it's right here in the northern division at Neely Henry. All right, grab those bad boys. Hold them up there for Dano and Ko, because she's a knockout. Healthy sucker. Got some bellies on them. Good job. Congratulations. Uh, let's find out if Boat 38 can uh, top that. Joe Alexander, Leon Tidwell Jr., they've got five bass. And it's tough following something like that. <laughs> the head is shaking sideways. Yeah. Well, watch out behind you. Come on up here. You got five, but they were the right five, were they? Definitely not. All right. Well, what were y'all doing today? Fishing how? Style? Uh, tube. Tube. Okay. So that's the first one I heard the tube. But I, I can see that. Let's find out with these five way. It looks like eight and three quarters, 8.78. They'll have for points. How'd y'all do in Guttersville? Bad. So a lot better then, right? We didn't get a bite for two days. Hey, you got them here. Congratulations, guys. You got a limit. Let's bring up John Davis, Peyton McGinnis. We only have 200 plus boats coming across the stage. We've only uh, weighed in uh, what, 30 plus boats there. How did it go today? Uh, it could have been better. You got your five, right? They the right five. Uh, we got two of the right ones and then three small ones to go with. Were the two together? Let's find out. 1353, were the two together in the same area? Uh, no. Okay, so you had to go out there. You got one that'll reach 447, four and a half? We have it. You got a big one? Okay, go ahead and grab it. Let's find out. Yes, it might be close. What'd you catch it on? Uh, we caught it. You got a smile on your face like you're going to tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. We caught it on a shaky head. Did you? That's awesome. No, not really. We caught, oh, I was like, bait. we caught all our fish on a Strike King 3XD in a crawfish color. All right, thank you. I was like, dude, if you did catch it, I wouldn't mind. I, I'd, I'd appreciate it even more if you caught it on a shaky head. Let's find out. To take the lead, you need 448. You got 453. We've got our leader for the Mountain Dew Big Bass. Good job. Shaky head, huh? <laughs> yeah, shaky head. Yeah, yeah Craig bait. So are they. All right, go ahead and grab, go ahead and grab it, and uh, let's find out if this can hold on for the rest of the day. And yes, in case you're wondering, it is chilly here in Alabama. That's why I keep rotating hands, because one's got to stay in the pocket. Chilly afternoon. Hold them up there. Oh, I might not. No, you'll need those. Well, where's the lefty? Lefty. Oh, hang on. That's right. Again. I don't know my right from my left, I guess. Be running around here like Michael Jackson. <laughs> you like that, Dano? Yeah, I'm not ashamed. Yeah, I believe it is. 13 and a half, roughly. Craig Grubbs, Matt Ferguson, five bass. That's what I'm hearing. You get to follow that. You got a big one in there like that? I don't know. It'll be, well, you got one that's close. Oh, I like to hear that. Five bass, though. Take the leads, 1931. You're not going to do that, but you got over 15. 1557, that's a good day. That's not bad. It'll be a great day if you can take the Mountain Dew Big Bass. He's got one that says maybe close. That's 453. Is it going to make it? Give me the yes or no. Oh, you got to pick it out. You got couple in there that looks similar. That's a good bag. I don't know if that was the one. I don't know if I would have picked that one. But no, I'm joking. It's not going to make it. It doesn't look like 453 is what we needed and 411 on that one. You're close enough. You're within that three-tenths of, of a pound. That one looks longer and skinnier. It ain't long, but it's skinny. Or they're shrinking. 403. 403. They're getting smaller. Good job, though. Great day on the water. Yeah, after Gunnersville, with our debacle there, we had one fish. Today, I'm proud to have this. I bet you do, and it bumps you up in points and hopefully make that team championship, or that, that championship for the north. Yeah, that's what we're wanting. This is a lot closer to the house. Maybe we'll make it. All right, thank you. Congratulations. Good job today. Yeah, that one was a uh, second one was a little skinnier and a little longer. Did you get any porkies out there? Let's find out 
how did it went today? Four bass for Lee Edwards and Anthony Copeland. Four bass weighing four or six seventy two. Just wasn't happening, huh? No, we've been on fish all week. Um, last week we were on fish. Cold weather hit, and they pulled out and couldn't find them. Shut off on it. It's tough. I, I feel for you. Good luck at the next stop. Thank you. Let's find out what Robin Vaughn has. One bass in the boat is what I'm seeing on there. I bet you're happy to have that one. I am disgusted. Why? Um, last two days of practice, couldn't keep them off the hook. Really? We're just whacking them. You won the practice. Won the practice. How many do you think you caught in practice if you're, you're five bass in a single day? We could have weighed in 20 pounds both days. But do you think the cold weather uh, played a factor? Did you catch or did him? I did have to work. I got, it in the, I got it in the boat. You caught it then. Well, congratulations on that one, because you'd have really been ticked off if you wouldn't have got that one. I missed one. I lost it right at the boat this morning. It, decent fish, and I had some more bites, but it wasn't nothing like it's been the last couple of days. It's, it's awful. It, it, it's tough, I'm sure, especially doing that well. Thank you for being with us here. We'll see you at the next stop. 241 was the total for them on that single. 241 for Team Vaughn. Let's find out what Jeremy Davis and Donnie Gamble have. I'm seeing four bass in the live well. Four good ones. Sir. Doing good. Four good ones. Uh, one good one, three small ones. Mm, let's find out what these four weigh. Look like 866. That good one, a, a four and a half pounder? It might be close. Might be close. Might Grab it. Let's see. Let's find out. 453 is what we got. What time of day did you catch the big one? What time of day? Uh, midday. Mid, yeah, yeah. okay. Let's find out. 453 is what we're looking for. I don't, uh, not going to quite get there. 433, so two tenths of a pound. Close, but no cigar. That's right. Appreciate it, man. Hey, they, they add up for points, so thank you, sir. All right, Jeremy Davis done a gamble. They are walking across the stage. Now we bring on Matt Barron and Caleb Maxwell with a single bass in the live well today. Like I said, the uh, the other guys, I said, I bet you're happy to have have that one. Uh, when did you have the single? When was that, this morning? It was early. Early this morning. So it makes for a long day after going, when am I getting to? Yes, sir. Yes. What did you do to catch it? Uh, caught it on a uh, spinnerbait. Spinnerbait. All right, what else were you throwing today? Uh, we threw a shaky head some. We threw a, uh, a jig. And a kitchen sink. 119 for that single out there. Turn it up next time. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Thank you, guys. Wendy's has hit the floor. Joey Nania, Will Butler, boat number one. When I called that out this morning, I'm like, okay, who'd you have to pay for that? Was it a good thing that you were in boat number one today? I was actually hoping for boat number 200. So we could, Really? Yeah, I, I, I didn't get to practice, and that's no excuse. But, you know, I was kind of kind of hoping we'd have more time to figure it out. But we caught a decent bag, but unfortunately had a little uh, issues getting in on time. 12.73 is going to be your total. Uh, we have it adjusted a couple of minutes late. What happened? Uh, we had a battery die and then tried to jump it, and that didn't work. So then we had to swap batteries and just missed it by two minutes. So so a, a pound for each minute you were late, so 1073 will be your total. It adds up points. I know you want to be in that championship. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, I'm happy to have what we had anyways, and we'll go on to the next one and catch them there hopefully. Thank you, guys. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Sammy Bailey, Alan Hayes, a five-bass limit. That's what I'm talking about. That's what you needed to have. Is it a good one? No. No. Well, at least you called it out. What do you think you got? Uh, nine pounds, maybe. Nine. Well, you're an underguesser. 1108. You okay with that? Yeah, exactly. We'll take off a pound or two. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it. All right, thank you guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you, Smith Lake. Bailey and Hayes, replaced with Caps and Leslie. Chris Caps, Ryan Leslie, three bass in the boat. Couldn't get four and five. Uh, we caught them. We just we just didn't get them to the boat. Really? So, who 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 was the net man on those jobs? What happened? Oh, it was just uh. It was a lot of fun watching him catch fish, I guess. And I'll bad timing on the <laughs> bad timing on the net. Seven sixty four for those bass out there today. Got to turn it up at Smith Lake. We'll be there. We'll see you. Thank you guys. Daniel Pocket, Gene Hall. They were in boat number thirty three this afternoon. Was it a good day? Uh, it was decent. Probably about like practice went. So. so practice went decent. They got five bass. That's what you wanted. Did you catch a bunch? We caught them. All right. Let's find out. Caught a few, he says, over 12 pounds, almost 12 and a half, 1249. That's not a bad day. Not bad. That's better than decent. Oh, lots better. Good job. Congratulations. 
Gary Howington, Amy Battles, five bass limit on boat 48. Come on over here. They'll take care of it. Now, if you touch them and you put them on the scales, we automatically deduct a pound. So you don't want to do that, do you? Well, if we don't touch them, will you give us a pound? No, no, no. That didn't work that way either. Five bass, 1061. That wasn't a bad day. <laughs> we worked hard for that little bunch. What were you doing? Fish. Other than fishing. Don't say it. I knew you were about to say it. What were you throwing? Uh, just a little bit of everything. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Kenneth Grover, Preston Grover. Grover and Grover sounds like a law firm. Uh, I wish. <laughs> Maybe. You never know. Hopefully we won't need one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah true. Five bass today, 796. Uh, just couldn't get in the big bite, huh? Nope. What were you doing? What were you throwing? Uh, I, was showing, I was throwing a gold red eye shad. Okay. Gold red eye shad? So you're thinking a rattle trap type bait to do it, huh? He caught the biggest fish on that. I caught everything else on the Carolina rig. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Hey, you want to grab a couple? Go ahead and let's get a few pictures there. You got to take your hands out of your waders, though, to get it done. If not, we're sending you to the circus. They won't hurt you. Just reach in their mouths. Red Eye Shad, what were you throwing? Carolina Rig Lizard. Really? Fish down. Oh, let's bring up our next pair. I'm seeing a five fish limit for Ross Williams and Brett Avens. Come on over here, guys. Don't want you to get disqualified for touching the scales and all, you know. How'd it go? Pretty good. Five's pretty good. Are they the right five? Uh, two of them are. Two are the right kind. Let's find out what these two are. Williams and Evans. You got one over four and a half in there? Probably not. Let's find out with these five way over 14 pounds, 1424. Good day. Congratulations. What were you doing? Uh, throwing a chatter bait. Chatter. You doing the same thing? Yeah, same thing. All chatter all the time? All day. All right. Do you think you got a four in there, a four and a half? All right. Grab the one. So close. We need, you know, to keep from having to weigh the big bass, we need one donkey just to come in. I mean, we need a, we need a Neely Henry swamp donkey, like throw an eight up there, and that way you won't have to weigh all the, the fours. It's like we know that our leaders are Mitchell and Green with 1931. Haven't seen anything really quite close to that. But there have been a lot of fish in that four and a half pound range. Let's find out if Williams and Evans can match that. It's not going to happen. It looks like four or 387, guys. Good job today. Either way, good points. Thank you. All right. We'll see you at the next stop. All right. Come on over here and talk to me. Let's bring up uh, John Polk and Wayne Isaac. Three bass on the afternoon. Couldn't get four and five, huh? No, the trolling motor broke and the wind was too high. We... So what do you do when the trolling motor breaks? Uh, early in the day, late in the day? I sit behind the wheel and he fishes for a while and then we rotate. That's tough. And just, just bump the motor every so often? And... Yeah, pretty much. We weren't in, on anything anyway. 720, though, those are points. It'll add up. Thank you. All right, we'll see you at Smith Lake. Thank you. Jeff Shelton, Tim Arnold, come on over here. I'm seeing a five bass limit. I'm hearing about a five bass limit. Is it a big five bass limit? No, 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 no. But you got five. Yeah, we got five. Uh, we probably caught over two limits today. Just that's great. We went flipping and couldn't ever get a big one. So six fourteen. So you were going for the big fish, just didn't come out six fourteen today. Yep. Well, that's best we could do. Thank you. We'll see you, Smith. David Palmer, Chris Hopper, you are next. Come on over here and show me what you got. I'm seeing a couple of, or a trio of five bass limits. You got a good five bass limit? Pretty good. Pretty good. What's pretty good? Give me a guess. About, Don't look at it. About 15 pounds. 15, 15 would be real good today. Did you catch them all? No, I didn't catch a one. What? He caught them in the net? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, he caught them all. You thought 15, you're okay with 1766? Sounds good to me. Even better. Congratulations. Uh, go. You got a big one, too. So let's – oh, yeah, you got a big one. All right, now we finally get one. It's not a four-and-a-half pounder, right? No. You got oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's four-and-a-half. That's four-and-a-half. About six. Yeah. That's four-and-a-half. About six-and-a-quarter, almost six-and-a-half. 4.53 was the Mountain Dew Big Bass. 6.40, almost a six-and-a-half pound. Congratulations. What did you catch it on? 
Swim jig. Swim jig. Oh, go ahead and grab that bad boy and hold it up or grab a couple. Oh, no, grab that one. That one's, you don't want to, you don't want the other guys to steal it. It's thunder. Yeah, that's awesome. Swim jig, he says. Now we know that we've got a Mountain Dew Big Bass. That Greg Pugh, you, gonna got, you got one like that? Yeah, he's not going to let you borrow that one. Not going to happen. Good job. Congratulations. And we'll see them as well at uh, Smith Lake. And hopefully this next pair as well. Charlie Cummings and Greg Pugh, five bass. Greg, that's what I wanted to see, five. Are they the right size? Uh, no, they should have been. It, um, yesterday, about 12, 31 o'clock, I pulled in a little pocket, found a bunch of big ones sitting on bed. And I thought surely I could do a 25-pound bag today. And the water came up about three foot where I was at, and it just spooked them out. 1567. So the water came up today. You're the first person that told me that because I heard yesterday they've been pulling water. Yeah, it, they'd been pulling it and uh, you know, been moving a good bit. And I was way up the river, uh, about as far as you could get up it. And, and um, you know, it was just it, when that water cranked up, it came up, and um, you know, it, it just it hurt them bedding fish. And you know, I, I was thinking I could do a 25 pound bag, but you know, that's just the way it is. And, and we caught uh, we caught these all different ways. But two, I need to say uh, thanks to a couple people, uh, Jackie Flack and Rob Donaldson. Uh, I had an uncle that died uh, Sunday morning. It was in the military. Those guys helped me get a, um, some some guys out of Jasper, out of Walker County up and do a 21 gun salute for us and uh, I really appreciate them guys for doing that. Good, great job. Thank you guys for doing that, Jackie. Go ahead and grab uh, and Rob, go ahead and grab uh, a couple of bass and hold them up there and get a picture. So Greg thought he could get a 25 pound bag sight fishing. It could happen. It's that time. It, it could happen. They've been pulling water, but he said that it actually raised the level today. So fish get finicky like that. Go and hold them up to Dano. So that makes and Matt Heron be Maddo. <laughs> you might have taken some of Matt's fish there? That, that might have been one or two of Matt's fish. So, you know, a lot of times when we're up here up this river fishing, we all, back when we fished so much here together, we'd all kind of bump heads up that way. Not in a bad way, but, you know, we fished a lot of places in the same. You know, there's several guys here that uh, we kind of fish the same ways, and, you know, we'd all have pretty nice sacks, but most of the time Matt and him would beat me. <laughs> it happens. Hey, it, it's a tough life. It's a, it's a rough life on the road. It, it is, and, uh, you know, they'd beat me with that jig, but when it comes up for me to stand and look at them now, that's, that's a little different story. I like it's, it's all good. You're fishing, and he, he's got a vacay day, so you, good job. <laughs> yeah, well, he's, he's taking it easy, so, yeah. yeah. All right, thank you, Greg. Right, appreciate it. Appreciate it, buddy. All right, let's bring up our next pair. Wiggins and Wiggins, Jesse and Jordan. You got a win today? No. Come on, you've done this before. <laughs> You got 1066. Not a bad day. Good points. Yeah, it's good points. That's what we need. All right. Congratulations on your catch. Thank you, sir. Five bass limit for 10 plus. Ronnie Rogers, Jackie Quillen. Four bass. Come on up here, guys. Whoa, you know not to touch those. Don't. Frank will slap your hand. You were telling him trying to do it, right? Yeah. If you take his job, what's he going to do? If you take his job, what's he going to do? He netted them for me. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right, four bass day. Looks like you had a good day. Is that right? Four bass for fourteen eighty four. Did you ever have the fifth one on? Did. What size was it? It was just a good keeper, but it would have helped. It would have helped. It, a, a four pounder might have got you up there near the league. Congratulations on your catch today. Good job. Yep. Thanks. Congratulations. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Do you got a big fish in there? Or he wants to weigh one. It. That's a good one. I don't know that. I don't know. If she's six and a half. But we can grab it and see see what you got. Go ahead and grab it out of there. What did he catch the big one on, or did you catch it? He caught it. He caught them all. What what did he, what did he catch them on? Uh, on uh, Cinco's. Cinco's, really? Real slow day fishing like that, huh? It was. It was. It paid off. Good job. It wasn't six and a half, but it's over five and a half. Five seventy three. That's a good day. Congratulations, sir. Awesome job. We'll see you at Smith Lake, okay? All right. Thank you. Alan Neighbors, Ricky Smith. After Frank gets by, you can come on over here and tell me how your day went. I'm seeing four bass. You got four bass like they did. Good size? It's pretty slow. <clears throat> what were you fishing with? Uh, spinner bait. Spinner bait. They said they were Cinco. That must have been a hot ticket. Mm. Maybe I should have used a Cinco. <laughs> yeah. 
four bass weighing over 10 pounds, it looks like. Two good uh, four bass sacks, 10.27 for you today. Good job. Thank you. Congratulations on that. Tough not getting that five. You got four good ones. Drew Ammons, Brian Robertson, come on over here. Again, guys, uh, they're in the tanks. Once you can go ahead and bring them up there. They got it. And then uh, once the other guy gets out, you can come over here and talk to me just like you're doing right now. You got five bass, huh? Got five. Five good ones? No. Not good ones, but it's five and over 10 pounds, 1090 uh, even. So 10.90. It'll help you in points. It'll help. How'd you do in Gunnersville? Zero. So you're doing much better. You're, you're almost 11 pounds better than you were at Gunnersville. Yeah, I'm happy to be, that, be there. Good job. Thank you. Way to turn it around. Bo Jarrett, Stephen Underwood. Two bass on the day, huh? Rough day, man, rough day. When did you get those two, spread out or early or late? Spread out, one early, one a little bit late. Just we had some we had some fish on bed and just knocked them in the head, so. That's tough. 436, it looks like, for those two bass. Your partner's bashful. He doesn't even want to, doesn't even want to talk. He's just like, thank you. So trying to stick, live and die by the sight fish, it sounds like, and, and that's going to be happening this time of year. Bill Mayo, Walton Roberts, come on over here. I'm seeing a five bass limit. Is it a good five bass limit? Uh, a good fish. Oh, there's a good one in there? Yeah, and four small ones to go with it. So Let's find out. So the five weigh 1231. What's the big one going to weigh? Uh, maybe four and a half. Four and a half, so not up in that six and a half pound range. Good job. Congratulations on your catch. It'll help you in points. Thank you. All right, we'll see you at Smith Lake, guys. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Remind everybody about the, uh, the parking lot up there at the front. We've got a Toyota um, Tundra truck with Tennessee tag and a Bass Tracker boat parked in the no parking lane. It's from Hamilton, Tennessee. Tag number is M07-59F. It needs to be moved or it will be towed. So you heard it. it. Needs to be moved. You know those Tennessee parkers out there? You're not from Tennessee, are you? Negative. All right. Negative goes right out of the pattern. It's a little two bass. For 544 today, slow day. Did you catch more than that or that some shorts? Tell me how your day go. Just caught one short and those two keepers, and that's about the only bites we got all day. That's more fishing than I got to do today. Good job on that. Thank you. Thank you. Shane Cox and Ty Cox, come on over here. What you got, Ty? Let's find out. One bass. One today, huh? Yeah. It's one more than you had yesterday as far as counting towards the tournament. Did you how did pre-fish go? Did you get to go out there? I, I didn't get here till last night. I had to go with Daddy's up here, and we, he caught some good ones in practice. Cold weather hurt us. Shut you down now. Uh, one bass for 197. It'll help add up those points, so. Oh, yeah. Good job. We'll see you next time, bud. Let's find out what Rusty Camp and Carl Lowry have. I'm seeing four bass on my monitor. Come on over here. Talk to me. You making sure nobody steals them from that tank? Four bass. Did you ever have the fifth one on? Nope. Not a bit. Did. What were y'all throwing today? You don't want to tell? Spinner bait? Okay. 497. I was like, you're trying to hide. You got a tournament next week. 497. You okay with that? Yeah, that's good. Good job. He, he, you're not okay with it. Did you catch him or him? I caught a lot of fish today, actually, but they was all too short. Really? How, how close? 11 and 7 mates. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> oh, that really hurts. Turn it on next time, Smith. We'll see you there. Need to be 12 inches. Eddie Jewell, Bobby Simmons. Five bass on the day, nine pounds. Well, it, uh, we didn't have a good practice, and it stayed about the same today. Well, you're par for the course. Uh, we'll see you, Smith Lake. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, sir. John Massey, Jason Barong, come on over here. Why are you hiding? Why are you hiding from me over there? Did you, did you, did you tear them up today? <laughs> no, not really. Didn't happen. That's why you have me. I got to see five bass limit. I thought you were being sneaky going like, I got this. <laughs> Let's find out with these five way. You got over 12 and a half, 12.58. You okay with that? Oh, yeah, not bad. What did you think you had? Uh, I thought you looked we, at him like, whoa. We had about nine. <laughs> <laughs> Undersized. How'd y'all do at Gunnersville? Uh, we just rolled out in Gunnersville. So look how much better you did this week. Good job. Way to turn it around. You, hey, a lot of people had a hard time at Gunnersville. You keep doing that, you're going to be in that championship. Thank you, guys. Greg Tucker, Dylan Tucker, come on over here. Five bass limit. You did all you can do. You got your limit. We did. We just needed to call one of them. Yeah, what, what was the small one? What size? Uh, two something. So two is going to hurt. Oh, my goodness. Uh, five bass limit. You need 19 something to take the lead. I, I don't want to play poker with either of these guys. They need 19 and change. They've got 20.22 pounds. Our new leaders here at Neely Henry, Greg Tucker and Dylan Tucker. Who caught the more fish or who, who caught the size? He Pretty even? It's about the same. What were you doing today? Uh, blade early and swimming a jig late. 
So it was paying off. So how many total bass do you think you catch on the afternoon? 10 or 12. 10 or 12. Man, I don't want to play poker with you because I had no idea those five bass were over 20 pounds. You play a lot of poker? No, I don't play any poker. You might need to pick it up. Go. Speaking of pick it up, go pick up some bass right now. And we might have a, a Mountain Dew Big Bass as well. You got a 6.4. Six no, you don't think? Man, one no. Man, you got some good bass. So, Matt Heron, it is over 20 right now. 20.22 pounds, that's what you're looking at. And you're telling me there was a dink in there that's a two-pounder, huh? So when did you have uh, those four, or those five that you were stuck with? What, the, uh, when did you have that, trying to call that, that little one? Uh, probably about 1 o'clock. It was. See, y'all been hustling to try and get that one up. Yeah, we needed to be later flight. Do you think it'll be enough to win here? No. You don't think, huh? I doubt it. All right, we'll see, though. Maybe I'll call your name at the end of the afternoon. Congratulations, guys. Good job. James Chestnut, Cynthia Chestnut. Come on over here. Two bass. What, do you think he was talking? <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. How did it go? So it, it went all right. Could have been better. Okay. Two fish weighing 212. Very consistent. You, deuces are wild. <laughs> <laughs> All right, speaking of poker, thank you. Difference later. Yeah, maybe. It might. Add up points. Danny Shell, Anthony Land, come on over here. They were in boat number 56. How'd it go? Tough day. Tough day. Everybody took care of us. Y'all do a great job. We appreciate you. All the hard work that everybody puts into this. City of Gaston for having it. Yeah. Thank you, sir. 739, your total. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Our next pair coming up to the tanks. We've Wait in 60 boats, so we only have about 140 more to go. <laughs> That's why we're motoring through these kid of chambers and Jason Great. Five bass in there. You got enough? You got 20? Nope. Not going to happen, huh? Not quite. Did you see 20 pounds out there today? I just seen them. <laughs> that, that was it. That was the last time you saw them. 994 for today. Add up those points. <laughs> yeah, we need them. Hey, you, we'll see you at Smith Lake. Thank you. All right, let's bring out Tommy Gaston, and I want to do it. Is it Jerry Kazir? Kazir, golly, man, I wanted to get it so bad. Four bass, huh? Good day? No. No? Very tough day. Did you ever have the fifth one on? I uh, know. Didn't have it. These four bass going away 11.72. Did, did y'all fish Gunnersville? <laughs> yes. But you didn't cross the stage, huh? We didn't do very well. I didn't think, hey, you did much better today. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Blake Edwards, Mike Carter, come on over here. How'd it go? Four bass. Couldn't get the fifth one on, huh? We had them on. Uh, started out a disaster, lost a big fish right off the bat, and ended up another disaster, lost a big fish right before we had to leave. So we lost two. Book ended by ones that could have made a difference. Exactly. Four bass, 10.05. That hurts, though, I know. Oh, yeah, it does hurt. It does, especially when you have them on, you know, to see what you got. So did you have one of those on? No, I didn't, but uh, it, it really hurt. First thing this morning, and then late this afternoon, right before we left, and two, probably four and a half, five pounders, both of them. It hurts. So. What were you fishing? What, what did they get off? What kind of hook? Uh, using a shaker by Choo Choo Lures. Shaker by What kind of bait is that? Basically like a chatter bait. They call it a shaker. So a single, a single hook at that. So it's not like you spit a treble hook. So that, that really has to hurt. Yes, yeah, we were using big swim baits uh, on the back of them also. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. All right. Let's find out with Scott Ashley and Taylor Ashley. I see in five bats. I think y'all had a pretty good day, didn't you? Uh, it was all right. It was all right. Again, another poker face. 1773. That's a really good day. Why is he underselling your tournament? I don't know. My back's hurting. Is it? Yeah, you, you look like you're in some pain. Is that from the ride or standing up just getting cold all day? From carrying him all day. Really? Is it? He's slacking, huh? Uh, I don't know. He whooped my butt. He, he, he did. He pointed it out in front of the thousands of fans that are watching live right now on AlabamaBassTrail.org. What were you doing to catch him? Uh, we was just jump fishing all over the place and working hard. You, you need to turn it up at Smith Lake. Oh, I will. I will. Right, he's tired of the heavy lifting. Congratulations. Good job. Well, since I have enough weight for somebody to listen to me, I want to say thank you to a few of my sponsors, Phoenix Boats, Freedom Marine, and Ducket Fishing. Not only do they treat us better than we deserve, they're good people. That's how you do it right there. Congratulations. Go ahead, grab a couple bass out there. Don't hurt your back. Oh, and you got a big one as well. Oh, yeah, you do. So, uh... Yeah, you can hold them up, and that way we put the single in there. I'll let you hold a bit. You got to go back to your 
pull it off of the leaderboard. <laughs> Did you say hold him out a little? Oh, I thought you said hold him out a little. Yeah. All right, let's find out what Big Bertha is. We need 640 to take the lead. It's not going to be there. It's going to be 544, but that was, that was a good day, just under a pound. Yep, thank you. And what would you catch it on? Uh, jig. Jig. Any particular jig? Uh, just swimming jig. Swimming. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Jimmy Behagel, Rob Vanderson are in boat 59. I'm seeing four bass, not that five bass limit that I know they were wanting to get. Come on over here. You can talk to me. It's okay. I know, I know. You don't have to, though. Did, did you ever have the fifth one on? No. Didn't have it, huh? Yeah, yeah, we did. You did, really? Yeah. It wasn't any bigger than the ones we got, though. But it would have been a keeper, maybe, or no? It was a keeper, but that's about it. What's your name? Which? Yeah, we're off on one. Yeah, so we got to make sure. How do we do that? We got to figure out where... All right, either way, we'll try and figure it out. So four bass. Either way, I saw four on there. Yeah. And you would have had another one. What are these going to weigh? Five pounds. How'd you do at Gunnersville? No good. So you're getting better. Getting better. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, not really, because we practiced for 12 hours for Thursday, and it didn't get any better. Well, you got 627. It's better than five. Better than five. Good job. Congratulations on that, at least. Thank you. Now, Jimmy, Jimmy, you didn't you didn't let him cut in front of you in line, did you? I sure did. Oh man, don't do that on me. How'd it go today? Four bass? It was tough. I caught everything that bit, but uh, I didn't really get any quality bites. But you know, that's fishing. So I enjoyed the day. Uh, I want to say thank you to the Alabama Bass Trail. Uh, they do a superb job putting this thing on, and I've really enjoyed fishing. With it. Thank you for fishing with us. Six forty-five for your total today. Good job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's bring up our next pair, Kenny Maddox, Drew Maddox, five bass limit. Will it be the right five bass limit? Yes, no, no, should no, not having it. Did you let him down again? I let him down. Oh, dang it. I, I thought y'all had that deal. You weren't going to do that anymore. Well, you know, sometimes it just happens. Keep going back to the well. Five bass going to weigh just under 10 pounds, 9.51 your total day. We'll see you at Smith Lake, guys. Thank you. Moving on over to our next pair, Merrill Bell and Clint Jones. They were in boat 76, and I'm seeing a five bass limit. That's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, they, they bit today, just not the right ones. Not the right size, huh? What were you throwing? Everything. Really, kitchen Get sink, sink, kitchen yeah. sink, yeah. Peerless sponsored. Let's find out. Five bass weighing 1006, so yeah, two pound average, right? Yeah. Not what you're expecting or wanting. Not what we wanted. Yeah. All right, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Greg Johnson, Darwin Knott, come on over here. Again, guys, and for the anglers coming in, once they're in the tanks and as soon as they take off that net, you can come over here and start talking to me. I'm not, I'm not shy. I'm not afraid to talk. You got the right kind of hat on. Let's find out what this, this single bass weighs that'll add for points. 281. Is that what you thought? Uh, about three pounds. Yeah, well, you're right there. 281. Where'd you get that hat? Looks like you had it a day or two. Uh, yeah, I usually work. Kicks my ears warm. Man, I wish I had that hat. Thank you, sir, for being with us. Good job on catching out. Five bass is what I'm hearing for John Canada and Bo Hunter. See what Jonathan and Bo have. Five bass, huh? Yes, sir. Good ones? Pretty good ones. You look like you're, you're ready to do this. Takes 20.22 to take the lead. Not going to do that, but really close. 1941. Yeah, you can see it in your step. You come up here, you're skipping, going, I did pretty good today. How'd you catch them? Uh, most of them on a jerk bait. Jerk bait. How about your partner? Uh, he caught one on a spook. Spook. Okay, spook and jerk bait, five bass. Go ahead and grab one in there. You got you got a six and a half as well. Happy to be out of the house. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. He said he had food food poisoning. He's just happy to be out of the house. Yeah. Yeah, you might think about going to I don't know where you went. I don't wanna I don't wanna publicize food poisoning. You might want to go back there again because obviously it helps with the focus. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gotta go have sushi every time. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh. He's got fish thumb. You see that? That's when you know you had a good day when you're wrapping up that thumb. Yeah, with a duct tape. John Canada bow hunter, almost 20 pounds. Still our leaders right now. 2022, Tucker and Tucker. David Palmer and Chris Hopper with a 640. 
Josh Aaron, Justin Aaron, five bass. You did your part. Yeah, was, we got six bites today. We caught all six fish, no size. All right, no size to these five is what he's saying. So looks like over eight, 8.65. It led up in points. I appreciate it. Thank you all. Got to look at it that way. Thank you, sir. Aaron's drop off. We bring out Luke Kyle and Arch Cornette. How will they do today? They were in boat number 80, and I'm seeing a five bass limit. Good job. Yeah, we, we got five. Five little ones, though. We had fun out there, but just uh, tough tough catching any big ones for us. Where'd you finish in Guntersville? Uh, zero. So these five is 672 is an improvement over Guntersville. Definitely an improvement. So glad to be here, though. Helping it, helping out your points, Chase. It might. You still got three more events. It could still happen. Don't don't give up. Thank you, Arch. Appreciate it. Derek Roberts, Jacob McCombs, four bass. Couldn't quite get that limit out there. Did you have the fifth one on? Negative. Had four <laughs> bites. Four bites, and you caught them. Who caught them? You or him? I uh, caught three. Caught one. Okay. Spread it out a little bit. Nine seventy-three. Not too bad. Uh, it wasn't the worst, but it could have been a lot better. I bet. Well, we'll see how you can do at Smith Lake. We'll see you at the next stop. Thank you, guys. All right. Next up, Dalton Bobo and Lonnie O'Neill. That's not right there, Dano. Boat number 95, good day on the water. It was cold. It was cold, I bet. Five bass, that's what you're looking for, right? Yeah, we, we caught five of the right kind. They are the right kind, you see. All right, let's find out what it is. You need 20 plus to take the lead. 1984. It's a good day, not enough to take the lead. But that's a strong day. Hey, the way my practice went, I'm very happy. How, how did practice go? What were you doing there that you said I can't keep doing this? Well, I, I just love to fish your slate shallow, and and I just couldn't put a shallow bite together. And you know, it's uh, I like to fish grass, swim jig, and just couldn't ever do what I wanted to do. So. So you had to pull off, and what yeah. did you go to? Well, we just went up the river and went fishing. Went fishing. Uh, how many did you catch today? He caught all of my fish. Did he really? Yeah. But you caught them. I still caught them. I enjoyed it and uh, had a good time. You fish with uh, Dalton very often? Oh, yeah. We've been fishing together the last five, six years. Oh, I'm sorry about that. No, I love it. All those things he says about you and you're still okay with it? I love it. I learn a lot from this guy. I bet you do. He's been doing it a while. The vice champion back in 1997 of the Bassmaster Classic. Well, I, I looked today, it is $16,000 to finish in that tournament. It's $10,000 here. Did you ever think that the, the money would be in this sport like it is now? Well, it, we've got a lot of corporate America that's got involved in fishing now, and I'm thankful for that, so the money's there. It, it's a good thing and a good day fishing for uh, these two today. Awesome job. Congratulations. All right, one more. Man, look at the belly on that one, huh? <laughs> so, yeah. Congratulations, guys. Good job. Aaron Roberts, Keelan Cherry. Come on over here. How'd it go? I can't believe I have to follow that. Why? Somebody got to do it. Look at my little. Let's find it. Well, you got three. Three smallest fish in the lake. If they don't make it through the the wet, the, the basket, you're all right. No, we've got smaller than that. 426. <laughs> One smaller than that? We've had, well, I'm telling you, it actually went through the basket. <laughs> it's happened. Really? And illegal bass. Yeah, I'm not lying. And it measured 12 inches. Yes. Goodness gracious. No, it's spooky. It was a tough day. Tough day. Well, good job on catching what you did. Well, thank you very much. See you, Smith Lake. Thank you. Mike Dutton, Lee Humphrey, come on over here. Five bass. You got them, huh? No, we don't. You got five? That's all we got. Why is your partner hiding? He don't like talking. We almost got five. Really? <laughs> Let's find out what it is. 1161. Not too bad. Yeah, we'll take it on a tough day for us. How'd you do in Guttersville? We suck. Well, <laughs> you don't suck near as bad today. Congratulations on 11 plus. Man, tells it like it is, Dano. Tells it like it is. We sucked. Richard Wright, Anthony Cantrell, they were in boat number 55. Five bass. You got 20 pounds in there? No, we don't have nowhere near 20 pounds. You got 10? We got eight. We got nine. eight. Nine and a half, it looks like. Nine fifty three. I'll give you eight if you want. No, that'd be good. Okay, nine and a half. Good job. We didn't do real good at Gunnersville. Hey. We didn't catch a fish, so at least we come out of the hole. Didn't catch one at Gunnersville, you caught over nine and a half day. Congratulations. Good job, guys. Way to stick with it. Tim Cornelius, Doug Webster have five bass. Are they the right kind of five? No. Ain't gonna happen, huh? Nope. What were you doing today? The wrong thing. Obviously. What's that? Tell me so I'll go out there and not do that. Uh Call five. Yeah, but it was everything. 927. He did, did everything he possibly could. 927 today. Good job. Appreciate it. Not too bad.
Let's bring up our next pair. Hank Hayes, Tim Partridge. Boy, it's still chilly out here. I'm, I'm getting stiff. It's, it's cold. It's like a wind tunnel over here out there. How cold was it out on the water today? It was real cold. Did you, did you drink? Is that all you wore? No. Or did you just take yourself off? I just took it off. Okay, let's find out what these four bass weigh. It looks like 643 for today. How'd y'all do at Gunnersville? Uh, we didn't get the fish. In. Didn't go. Okay, so I, got, I didn't remember the name coming across. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Adam Bain, Chris Colley, come on over here. Five bass limit. Is it a 20-pound five bass limit? No, nowhere near. Not having it. Let's find out. What are they going to weigh? Give me your best guess. Don't look. Hurry. 15. 15. 15 says. You're a bad guesser. You're a very bad guesser. 1820. You okay with that? Yeah, we just needed to get rid of one fish. What, what's the single? What's the size? Uh, it's probably a pound and a half. Oh, man. So you really could have upgraded with one three, four pounder. You could have been in the lead. Uh, we had our chance, I think. We just didn't do it. Good job, though, today. 18 plus pounds. Awesome. Yeah, go ahead and grab it. And we'll take the big fish as well. Let's find out. Yeah, gra grab a couple. Nice. Go ahead over there, Dano. That's why we put those big old shiny X's. What, what boat number were you? It should be in the lead up here, uh, second, third, something like that. Is Bain and Collie, right? Yes, I am. Yeah, that's easy. We need 640 to take the lead, 612, just a little bit shy. Good day, though. You okay with that? Yeah, it was a good day. A lot better than what we expected, but like I said, we just needed to get rid of one. How did the Gunners will go? Uh, not real good. I think we had about seven or eight pounds. Left. Today, that was a decent day. <laughs> so after all was said and done, hey, you're going to be up there in the points now. Uh, maybe so. Hopefully we can catch them at uh, Smith. At that rate, I bet you're up there in the top 15, top 20. I'm telling you, I, I have a feeling. Good job. Congratulations. Let's come on over here. Mike Rainey, Michael Farr, five bass. You got, any, you got any big ones like that? No, I'm by myself. My partner's still down there. We blew engine or something about 930 this morning. So you had to ride back with somebody? Yep, I did. Called Jody, got it all set up. And, uh, we've been talking back and forth today and rode in with Donnie's story thanks to him and Wayne. They got me back to the dock anyway. So Having all that happen, you come across the scales with 10-16 for you today. Congratulations. Not too bad to not have a motor, just sitting still. Kind Way of. to stick with it, huh? Yeah. Yep. What were you doing sitting still? What were you throwing? Uh... Swim bait mostly. So you you burning up that trolling motor though, I'm yeah, sure, huh? Yeah, burning up the trolling motor. That's about all we had to do. All right, good job. Congratulations on that catch. Jason Yelverton, Richard Walker, come on over here. Four bass. Gonna come across the scales. Four, huh? Did you have the fifth one on? No, we didn't have a fifth one on. We caught some small fish, but we thought uh, we left them spots and we went largemouth fishing. We never did catch another one. Mm. If you had to do it again, 11:43. If you had to do it again, would you have moved? Now we probably probably stay there. That's what we we would decide today. Iron size twenty twenty. Good job today, though. Thank you, Donnie Story, Wayne Ashley, getting to chauffeur some anglers out there today. Thank you for doing that, by the way. No problem. Now, do you have as much as he did? You got five bass. That's a good thing. I don't think so. All right. We got some babies. Really, it happens. It happens. Five bass, weighing 823. So you need to get those points to try and finish that championship. That's what it's about right now, isn't it? Oh yeah, we work our way up, I hope. All right, keep moving up, guys. Thank you. Michael Cruz and Delton Gregory. Come on over here. How'd it go? It's tough. Real tough. tough. What were you doing? What were you throwing? You got one you got one bass today. What were you throwing? Yeah. Shaky, really trying to just finesse them in. Yeah. Let's find out. This single, two thirty nine. It'll, it'll be a few points. That's all right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Will Yelverton, Brian Gregory, three bass. Three, huh? Couldn't get four and five? Never got a bike. Really? Man, that's tough. How far did you have to travel? Uh, we came from to fishing today, or we went from one end to the other. That's tough. 875 for those three. So not a bad size. Just need a couple more to add to them. Two more. Thank yeah, I needed two more. Thank you, sir. We'll see you at uh, Smith Lake. Tyler Hicks, Sandon Bennett. Come on over here. They tell me you've got three bass in there. Are they at least three biggins? No. Not having it, huh? What happened? It was tough. Real tough. Well, let's find out. These three. Almost saw negative weight there for a second until he did that. 8-11, though. You okay? You were around decent fish, it looks like. Yeah, they just didn't bite for us. Did you have any unders? Uh, two. Two unders. So just... 
If those would have just made count, you'd have been over that 10, 11, 12 pound mark. Thank you guys for fishing with us. Tom Toth, Mike Gibbons, come on over here. Show me what you got. Five bass, that's a good thing. Yeah, we had a good start. Got them early this morning, had a five fish limit, and then I broke the cable on my hot foot, so I was going nowhere fast after that. How, how does that, how do you give a gas after that? Is uh, it? You pull the cowling off and hand throttle it. Oh no, that makes for a long day. 10.63, so good job, you stuck with it. Sounds good, it'll work. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Tom. We'll find out what um, Phil Dukes and Bailey Dukes has. Three bass in the live well coming across. Don't leave them there. Remember, guys, once you put them in the tank here, just come on and start walking towards me if somebody's off these exes. Is your first time across the stage? No. So what happens back there? Just had to, you're all in the moment because these three bass are going to bump you up there. Almost seven pounds, 698. Yeah, it was just a tough day for us. What were you fishing with? Uh, I caught the one I caught on the Cinco. Cinco. Man, I heard a couple people down with Cinco out there. That, that makes for a rough day, though. I mean, that, that's some slow fishing. Yeah, it's painfully slow. Well, you got three. Congratulations on that. Thank you, sir. Richard Hayes, Gavin Hayes also have three bass in the live well. Four and five ever there? Never. Never there. At least three bass. Let's find out what they weigh. 442. You can just like, man, if you had to do it all over again, what would you do? I'm just ready to go home. I bet you are. Cold out there? A little bit. It's cold up here. Okay. All right, we'll see you at Smith Lake. Thank you. Brian Morris, Brian Jett, five bass limit. That's what I'm talking about. And you've got the Alabama Bass Trail gear. You know, the highest finisher gets a little kickback, a little extra cha-ching. You got, you got five big ones? We got five pretty good ones. Five good ones. I like hearing that. Yeah, they got a real good one. To take the lead, you need 20, 22, 1984. So it is a good day, and you probably are highest finishers in ABT stuff. When did you get those five? Were you culling late in the day or early? There wasn't a whole lot of culling going on. Really? That's a five total? We struggled early this morning, and uh, the grass fish just wouldn't bite this morning. But after 1 o'clock, they turned on, and we caught all them fish but one after 1 o'clock. What were you throwing? What were you doing? Believe it or not, we caught two of them on a frog, two of them on a swim jig. Oh, I love it. So what were you targeting with a frog? What, give, paint me this picture. You just had to find the grass close to a little bit deeper water. That was the key. Good job. Thank you, guys. You want to grab a few? You, you got a big one? What? If I could mention something, I'd like to give a big thanks to Ryan Coleman. My, Do it. My biggest fish uh, uh, came on a spot sticker, uh, Mini Me. He's uh, been real helpful. And uh, if you need some... Uh, High quality spinner baits. I'd uh, check out spot six. That's how you do it. Thank you, sir. Go ahead and grab a couple of those bass. You got you got a big one in there too. You got a six. Uh, we got one pretty close. All right. Ooh, that's a nice one. Is that yours? Is he? Did, did he? Is that yours? Yeah. Oh, I was making sure you weren't grabbing his bass because you know you go grab the big one and it's your buddies. And yeah, we need to go ahead and weigh that one. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a picture with him and. Yeah, I was like, that's what I do. If I caught the small one, I'm going in there grabbing the big one. All right, let's find out. We've got a Mountain Dew Big Bass right now of 640. It's a good-sized bass. Let's find out if she'll be 640. It's going to be close. Going to be real close. Not there. Six and a quarter, 625. So it was a good day. Congratulations. And what did you catch it on? Mini Me Spinnerbait. There you go. Thank you, sir. Close to our Mountain Dew Big Bass, but just not quite enough. Again, if you're parked up in the parking lot up, uh, what is that, Dana? What is it, Dollar General? Dollar General, if you have a, a truck and trailer and you are parked up there, if you would try and grab that truck and trailer and get it out of that parking lot as soon as possible, please. Greg Bowie, Luke Duncan, come on over here. You got five bass. You got five. Well, is Dano talking trash? Always. He does, he does. Five's a good thing. Got over nine pounds. Said yesterday was fantastic. 968. So uh, is he always this mean in the boat like he is with Dano? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Who called him today? Uh, it was mixed. Both of us called him. I lost the big one. So. Oh, how, how big's the big one? Uh, about four pounds. But, uh, that hurts. Had a lip pull out of a crankbait which is a first for me to lose a fish. And she jumps on the point trying to throw it a couple times. But Dano, once again, have been messing with my stuff this morning. There you go. Don't let him tweak your stuff. Yeah, he does that. Brandon Gibson, Andy Chappelle. Is it Chapel or Chappelle? It's Chapel. He's oh, the truck. I, I got it. I was like, I was like, it's Chappelle. I was like, Chappelle, show. Uh, three bass on the day. It was tough. Yeah, well, you do what you got to do to get points. And it's 434. We'll see you at Smith Lake, right? 
Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, sir. Brandon Gibson, Anna, Andy Chappell, four in change, but every little bit helps as they uh, move on to the championship later on this October. Lester Graves and Joey Palmer, how'd it go? Tough. Real tough? Yeah. You got five bass. Can't be that tough. There ain't nothing to them, though. Hey, all you need is five, but you got five for 819, so they just weren't the right size five. Thank you, sir. Ooh, man. Yeah, my dude, my, I'm not lying. My left shoulder is wore out from holding this microphone up here. I know it's, I'm a wuss, but it's getting cold. I'm getting chilly. No, it's, it's the shoulder. I'm gonna, I'll have to be in some of them hot paws out there like they did at the Classic. Was it cold on the water? Yeah. How bundled up were you? You look like an Eskimo. Holy smoke, 1782. You had a good day. That was, that was, that was strong. You go ahead and click at 1782. That, that's pretty strong. Who caught him? You or your partner? Craig, uh, Bello, is it Baloo? Craig Ballou and uh, Jason Morgan, who called them? You or your partner? My partner. Did you catch any? One or two that got cold. Oh, uh, well, hey, you caught some. At least you can say you caught them. Yeah, that's you don't cool. have a problem. It's a team tournament, right? Well, yeah, it pays the same. Absolutely. And you share it, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Good job. How'd y'all do in Gunnersville? Uh, 16 and a half pounds, didn't get to make it. What? Playing. Foot went out. So you had 16 and a half pounds. That's the top 10, easy. 20. Was it? It would have been top 20, yeah. Oh, man. That hurts. Well, yeah, you got three more turns. Keep bumping up those points. So had a mechanical cost them. That hurts. Brad Bearden, Lee Oliver, five bass on the day. Let's find out with these five weight nine twelve. Just not the right size. No, it is tough. You needed to upgrade. Yeah, well, bigger we bait. Did. We did upgrade. That's what. We... <laughs> you had eight before that. Well, we had probably six before. We upgraded four times. So. Oh man. Well, good job catching that. Hey, we proud with that nine. Bet you are. Good job. Good job. Thank you for being here. Cam Gottney, Jim Leary, come on over here. Now I'm hearing one of y'all finished fifth at Gunnersville last week. Is that what I'm hearing? You going to be in top five today? Uh, no, not at all. Not at all. It's just a little different in Gunnersville, doesn't it? Totally, totally different. But uh, we had a little tough time last year, and uh, I'm I'm really 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 shocked about this. Sixteen twenty four, your weight. Now, why are you shocked? Well, we didn't catch a fish last year, and we only practiced for about six hours for this one. Did something right though. What did you do today? Uh, we just fished uh, deep staging areas pretty much, and uh, just cranking through swim baits on them. And we're riding his momentum from the Rayovac. It were it is a crazy thing though, didn't it? Did you catch them throughout the day? Uh, we caught probably around twenty fish today. That's a good day. Yeah, that we couldn't get anything bigger than what three seven. Yeah, everything we caught, everything we caught was like two eighty eight, two uh, you know two ninety. Everything was pretty much the same size today. It worked out though. I can tell that you were happy with what you got. Good job, guys. Congratulations. Bobby Taylor, Tommy McGuff. I'm seeing nine eighty three. Those are points. That's right. That's what you got to look at it. I'm glad to have them. We'll see you, Smith. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's bring up our next pair, Robin Herb. Keith Towns, come on over here. No, 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 no. You, you know, if you touch it, we have to take off weight. Okay. Because it is, because he won't have zeroed it if you do it. Five bass, that's a good day. Yeah, we broke off a couple, and that, that happens. So. What, what size line are you using? 880. Yeah. What size line? Uh, mostly 10-pound line. So you were, you were doing light stuff. I was like, if you've got some braid on there and you bust them off, then we got a problem. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Smith. It's next stop. We'll see you there. Thank you, sir. Byron Haney, Brandon Looney. Man, it hurts when you when you break some off and get off, but breaking them off is they only stay so long. Five bass, good bass? Uh, no, not really. Those small ones. Eight twenty four though, they keep adding up those points. That's it, buddy. That's see it. you there. How do you, how, you have a good time out there? Yes, sir. All right, we'll see you at Smith Lake. Watch out behind you, got some bass coming through. Rowdy Wade, Chad Hazel. Come on over here. How'd it go? Uh it went good, considering we hadn't done anything in practice. So. Yeah. It's not about practice. It's about about the tournament day. Not too bad. Five bass, 1163. That, that was some pretty good points today. Absolutely. I'm happy. Good job. Congratulations. All right. Let's bring up our next pair. Lavoid Lemon and Zach Lemon. Come on over here. You're wanting to put them on those scales. You got, you got some big ones? No. You got five, though. Did you catch them all or him? A little both. Let's split it between the two. Let's find out. These five weigh in 864. Just couldn't get the big bite, huh? Couldn't get a big bite. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you at uh, Smith Lake as we bring on Jimmy Mason and Lance Walker. Come on over here, Jimmy. 
going to take off today. You got 20 pounds? I've seen you got 11. You got 20 in there? No, I don't think we got 20. You got Good day? Yeah, decent. Maybe 15 pounds. That's a good day. Let's find out what this is. He needs uh, at least 15 pounds in his mind, and he did even better. 1507. That's a good day. What'd you do to catch him? Uh, we threw a jerk bait and a shaky head most of the day. Jerk bait and shaky bait, uh, or shaky head. How many did you catch? We, we probably caught 30 fish. I mean, Shut up. We caught a lot of fish. I mean, uh, I would say most most of them Jimmy caught on a shaky head that we weighed in, but I caught a lot on, on a jerk bait behind him. But better fish, but a bit mostly a, sh a shaky head. Just real finesse today. Isn't it crazy like that when the lightest bait or the lightest line and everything else will catch some of the bigger fish? Yeah, especially post front. You know, these spots are like that. So. How, how did this weather affect what your game plan was coming into today? Definitely with a largemouth fish if it, you know, front hadn't come through. So that causes us to go for the spots instead. All right, thank you, Jimmy. Good, good job today. Over 15 pounds. Sam Moody, Ray Battles get to follow that. Five bass at, at, at 10 and change. 10.45. Why are you giggling? Well, when you go try to get on a flipping bike and catch one pounders, it's kind of. Yeah, you're flipping for single pounders. That's not good. That ain't good. Yeah, you can flip into McDonald's and get a quarter pounder. That's right. I'm fixing to. All right, we'll see you there. Thank you, sir. Benji Seaborn, Jonathan Seaborn, Team Seaborn, was it a good day on the water? Uh, not really. <laughs> Why? I just, he didn't bite real good for us. Got five bass for 1339. That's not a bad day. That's pretty good today, actually. Well, we. we it's not great, but it's good. Yeah, it's okay. All right, well, good having you. I know you're disappointed with that. That's a pretty, pretty good day, it looks like. All right, next one, Bo Womack, Terry White. Two bass on the afternoon. Did you at least both catch one? <laughs> no, we had a tough day today. We just couldn't couldn't figure them out. Let's find out. These two weighing 264, so you just got to look at it as a points day, and there's more points than you would have got if you didn't catch but one or, or none. What were, you, what were you doing? Uh, we called them flipping. Flipping, that's what the other guy said. It just couldn't get into big bite doing that. Big bites. Couldn't get to big bites today. All right, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Keith Webb, Mark Searles. Find out what they've got, because I've got five bass on there, so you got your limit. You did your part. Did you both catch them? Yes, we did. Good job. Let's find out. Over 10 pounds. I'm seeing that. 10.59. You okay with that? Yeah, not too bad. After all said and done? Yeah. Rough day? Rough day. Uh, go, go get warm. Fun day. Fun day. Hey, it's fun day fishing. It's better than being up here just announcing all day, right? Go home, watch me some Supercross. What? Work. Jeremy Tomlin, Greg Tomlin, two bass on the day. Now, again, did y'all at least both catch one? Yes. Which... Good deal. Good deal. What'd you catch them on? Uh, jerk bait. Jerk bait. 247 for those two. How'd you do it, Gunnersville? Third. So, three and this. Hey. Three and last. I, no, I knew you were up there. I couldn't remember which place, but no, it's not last. There's going to be some zeros there. Listen, hey, those those fish might make the difference. I'm not kidding. You, you think it's a bad day. It'd be much worse if you zeroed, I promise you. So they go, as in their mind, they went from hero to zero, but that is not the case. All right, Bob Woodford and Nick. Grillio. Grillio, okay. I was like, is it, oh, is it silent? I know I've asked this before. 391 for your day uh, today and those two bass. I'm sure you're glad to have those two. Yeah, a lot better in Gunnersville. Rough day. Thank you, sir. Good. Glad to have you here. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Jeremy Christian, Logan Johnson, as we're over halfway through our full field here today. As far as coming across stage, three bass. How'd you catch them? Uh, swim jig. Swim jig. Let's find out with these three way. Wins most much got your lips all chapped, doesn't it? <laughs> five, 10, five, 10. How did y'all do Gunnersville? 52nd, I believe. So you got to look at this point. You need to be in that 50. You know, you just keep, keep on keeping on. Well, last time we weighed in behind Mark McKegg and his nine pounder, so we're just it's glad, tough. We're just glad we didn't do that again. <laughs> Good job. Thank you guys for being here. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Darren Patrick, Corey Freeman, come on over here and talk to me. Five bass. Are they the right five? No, not hardly. Not happening this time, huh? I just see numbers on there. I don't get to see the bass in the tank. Five bass weighing nine forty four. Who caught more? You or him? About about even. Half and half. That's all right then. We'll see you at Smith Lake. That's right. We're, right. Ready. We're ready. We'll see you there then, guys. Thank you. Terry Pryor, Terrell Mann, come on over here. Let's find out how Terry did. I'm seeing five. Five's a good thing. It's a good thing today for us. Good five? No. Five, though. Five, five, five. Five, five beats one, two, three, or four. <laughs> five, four. Grand total of 892. That's about right. About nine pounds. Good job. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Right, man, enjoy it. Thank you, sir. 
Let's bring up our next pair, Tim Trockenbrot and uh, Jared Cotille. Is that right, Cotille? Is that right? Close. How is it? Say it. Cotille. Cotille. Say it again. Cotille. Cotille. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, you were kind of thinking about how to say it. I was like, how am I going to do this? 620 for your total out there today, four bass. Did you ever have the fifth one on? No, we didn't today. Bunch of shorts. It was it. How many total bass you think he caught? Eight or nine, probably. Eight or nine. You you, you look like just frustrated. Uh, no, I mean we were fishing today. I mean I can't be frustrated about that, but no, I mean definitely we want to do well. We want to win. I mean that's why we're here. But you know Smith, we're gonna put in more time, more effort. So caught what you caught, and uh, they're already looking forward to Smith. Thank you guys for being here. Tony Blackwell, Lee Bolt, come on over here. How'd it go? Uh, pretty good, I guess. Oh, that means that means really good, I guess, uh, considering 722. So pre-fish didn't go so hot. Uh, not too good. Well, you got some points. Yeah, all it counts. See you, Smith. Yes, sir. I will see you, Smith Lake, next time. Justin Atkins, Drew Long, come on over here, talk to me, because I'm seeing a five bass limit. A good five bass limit. Good for what I thought we were going to catch. What, what, what do you think you were going to catch uh, from what he's been saying? Well, we seen a bunch on the bed, but this cold weather must have knocked them in the head. It just wasn't wasn't right. See, the mentality was to go out bed fishing. Possibly thirteen fifty nine. Did any, any of your catch where they bed fish? Yeah, um, two of them were off the bed, and we just had a few more. It just wasn't that right, so we left them and went junk fishing and managed to catch three more. Good job catching that limit. We'll see you, Smith Lake. Don Hill, Jeff Langston, come on over here. My buddy, uh, I announced arena cross with the former Supercross Grant Langston. No relation, huh? None whatsoever. Yeah, not for, you're not from South Africa? Let's find out. Five, five bass today, that's pretty good. Yeah, slow day. <laughs> five? Take up what? You might have to pick up motocross after this. 1268, that's not too bad. Good job. Better than I thought. Be happy with that. 1268, we'll see you at Smith Lake. All right, Ben Lakey and Larry Lakey, let's find out what they have. Boat number 121. I know they've got five bass. Was it a – you're shaking your head sideways. It's not the right five. Tough and windy, buddy. Tough, Tough and windy. What were you throwing in the wind? A shaky head, unfortunately. Shaky head in the wind. That just sounds perfectly – no, doesn't, that doesn't sound right. 1039, not too bad, though. I will take it. Uh, and run, right? 1039 for those five fish. Jeff Gardner, Joey Gardner. Let's see what they have. I'm hearing a couple of bass. Come on over here. Two fish, huh? That's it. Spots, largemouth? One of each. One of each. Mixed bag. Let's find out. Two bass. Weighing 346. How'd you do it, Gunnersville? Better than that. One fish. You're, you're, you're turning it on, though. Hey, one, two fish. You get three, four, and five next time. Hey, Smith Lake's a new lake. Yeah, that's it. We'll see you there. Thank you, sir. Waylon Hancock and Tim Little have five bass when I'm hearing, right? Yeah, yeah, we finally scratched out five. Did he catch them all? Uh, he caught most of them. Did he? I, I had a, <laughs> he, he got farthest away from me. 15.51, that's a good day. Yeah, it was a pretty good day. We got one wheel away. All right, let's weigh it. I'm not scared. 640s. It's his birthday. It's his birthday. Oh, it's a birthday fish, right? So was it a gift? I mean, was he lucky to have caught it? He's always lucky, man. Ain't better. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. That's the reason he fishes with me, because he's lucky. Yeah. Let's find out. He's lucky to fish with you. So 524, not in that 640, but that's a good birthday fish. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead and grab it. It's a, that's bigger than any fish I've caught on my birthday. I can't remember fishing on my birthday. That's what I'm saying. I'm sure my grandfather took me on my birthday or something once when I was a kid. Thank you, sir. Steve Wilson, Donnie Wilson, four bass. Come on over here. How'd it go? Tough. Four, four is okay. You just, did you ever have the five? Uh, a few times, yeah. What happened? How'd it get off? I just couldn't get a hook set at him. Do you have any uh, unders? I had two or three unders, yeah. Man, see, all over them. Five pound, four bass for five pounds. Just couldn't get in the size. Nothing to no size. So It happens. It does. You know, that's fishing. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Thank you, sir. Greg Tucker, Dylan Tucker, our leaders right now with 20.22 pounds. Our big fish over six pounds, 6.40 of David Palmer and Chris Hopper. We bring up Billy Sharp and Kevin Stubblefield. 
How did it go? Great. Good day. We enjoyed it. Great. It's a good thing. Let's find out what these five bass weigh. These five are going to weigh 1171. You're ready to get home, aren't you? I'm ready to go home. I can see it in your eyes. I'm tired. All right, get on out of there. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Thank you, guys. Lee Pitts and Keith Van. I'm seeing a five bass limit. That's all right. I remember my first time at a at a bass fishing tournament. But that, but that's all right. You're refined now. That bag was bigger than what we had, so I was trying to get it. Let's find out what these uh, uh, five bass are going to weigh. Five bass over 10 pounds. Looks like 10.89. So how would you catch them today? Uh, Carolina rig. Really? Carolina rigging, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Shaky heading to and in the wind? When, when you do all you can and all you got in the boat, that's the last thing we do. So. What was on the end of the Carolina rig? Lizard? Worm? Uh, a little fish doctor. Okay. Fish doctor. So you happy to have what you had? You know, we, we lost a few fish this morning early. Um, and really, it's been a tough day for us. We've had to struggle and just work hard for the bites we got. So, uh, you know, we'll take that and get a few points. We'll head on to the next one. We'll see you, Smith Lake. Thank you, guys. Obviously, that at Jefferson's dinner table last night wasn't working so well. That, that, that table didn't work good. About as good as my food did last night. It, not so good. No, the food was all right. Five bass for you today. Let's get this. Team 146, Glenn Ingram and Randy Hobbs. Five bass. Say good bass. No. No. 1030. <laughs> He's honest with you. We'll see you at Smith Lake, though, okay? All, All right. We'll see you there. Thank you, sir. Man, his hands are warm. I don't know what. Yeah, it stayed in that pocket. It's like you were like, shaking an ice cube, wasn't it? Mine's in my pocket, too. Five bass for Bud Wilson and James Robinson. Right, five? No, sir. Not having a day, huh? Not having a day. Let's find out with these five way. Five for 835. How'd y'all finish at Gunnersville? 54. 54. So you're right outside that bubble. Maybe uh, today, you know, I, actually, you're probably going to be right around there is good. I mean, right around there again today, but that's not a bad thing. It's much better than dropping back. Two long days. We didn't catch a keeper in two days of practice. That hurts. That hurts. Well, you, you at least you caught some today in the tournament. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. James J. Stryker Barnett, that is the only four. Four named person coming across Patrick Watson. Good job today. I, I'm seeing five bass. That's what you got to do. That's no, that's a, that's a wrong head shake. He's supposed to be this. I know. Well, that's what, we done all we could out there today. It was pretty pretty tough on us, but we was able to get five, and um, we're looking forward to you know moving to the next one. So. Eight twenty nine. When you're shaking your head like this, is that because he caught them all? <laughs> no, no, he didn't catch them all. We caught a few, and you know, but he did catch the biggest ones. He caught the big one. All right. Well, hey, those add up for points, guys. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Thank you, guys. Scotty Estes, Abby Estes, got have two bass in the live well coming across today. Did you both catch one? She caught them both. Caught them both. Stroked them again. Oh, you, you look like, no, I didn't. I caught the big one. <laughs> hey, that's good, yeah. So, yeah, we do one picture. These two bass go to weigh 437. So it adds up to points, and you head into Smith. We'll try it. Got to get better. Do what you got to do. Go grab those things. Let's see. You grab them both, and that way you say, look, that's the way I got them. Look at you, you got checks in your pocket. <laughs> How long has that been in there? Oh, Joe, Jody's in here with where his license would be. He's got old checks in there from 1947. Good job today, guys. Congratulations on those two. Gary Peterson's going to be next. Come on over here. I know you know how it's done. Gary Peterson and Steve Miller with two fish on the day. Just couldn't get four, five, three, four, and five, huh? No, we lost a big one right at the end. How big was it? About five and a half. Ooh, what were you, what were you throwing? Uh, jig and pig. Ugh. Jig and pig. Had a fiver on, but gets off half of that. That's what you have coming across scales. 240 for your bass day. Thank you, sir. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Ugh. Yeah, that hurts. Harold Wells, squared. Come on over here. <laughs> Harold Wells, Harold Wells. I got two of them. That's right. Two, two boys, one fish. Yeah. Right. Two, two Harold Wells. Yeah, you said it best, but only only one fish. Who caught the fish? He did. So he, you're saying him, and he's Harold saying did. Harold. <laughs> Harold caught it. 347, you're around in some decent-sized fish. Just couldn't get the other ones in there. What would you catching on? Uh. Jig. Jig. All right, thank you, guys. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Scott Phillips, Shane Cole. 
three bass. Come on over here. Get guys in the back. You make sure once you come up here in the tank, once it's cleared out, you can go ahead and walk over here and talk to me because you're going to tell me, what are these three going to weigh? Four pounds. Four pounds? You're so wrong. So if it says seven, I'm supposed to take off three pounds? No, we'll take seven. Seven even for you today, and uh, you head on into Smith Lake, right? Ready to go. We'll see you there. Thank, Thank you. you. Jason Borden, Steve Lowry, but 143. So later on in the day, I'm hearing the bite was better later on in the day. That's what some of the early guys said. Was it the case for you? We caught most of our big ones after about 1 o'clock. Really? Okay, so that was the case. Let's find out what you got. A good day, over 15 pounds, 1525. I'm happy. Good job. How'd you do at Guttersville? Uh, 75th. So 75th. You're going to move up. I think you're going to be in that 50 for sure, huh? Good, good. We'll see you there. We'll see you uh, at Smith Lake. Next stop on the north. Where's the south at next, Dano? You get to make them all. I'm going to try a brain teaser. Miller's Fair. Brandon Staggs, Jerry Wright have uh, taken 10K from the Alabama Bass Trail, I do believe. 369, though, today. Just not, not your day. Nope. Terrible. Well, what was happening on the water? It was zigging and shit a zag? Yep. Sure. What were you fishing with? Everything. Everything. What happened? Nope. Pre fish? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Shut off. Yeah. Dang it. I hate winning pre fish. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Chad Grease and Robbie Evans. I'm seeing five bass. That's a good sign. 13 pounds or better? Yeah, right at 1343. 1343 on the nose. Good job. That's it. That's it. Adding those points up? It does. It helps. helps. It does. All right, we'll see you at Smith Lake. Thank you, sir. Jerry McCullough, James Finker. Come on over here and talk to me. I'm seeing three bass, huh? Mm, yeah. Couldn't get four and five? No. Not even shorts? Lost. Really? Lost. What were they getting off of? The hook. What kind of hook? Shake it. Shake it. Ooh, man, light line in them things, too. So you don't want to be tender vittles. 531, you got to be tender vittles with those the whole time. So I can understand not wanting to muscle. We heard guys talking about popping line and other stuff. John Dickerson, Clyde Howell, good day? Pretty good day. Call out fish and no biggins. Okay, five bass. That's a good thing. Pretty good day, he says. Let's fight out with these five away. Five going to weigh a little over 10 pounds, it looks like. 10.02. <clears throat> Had a good day. Yeah, it was a good day. I added up those points. Keep it up. Yeah, at Smith Lake. Randy Hopkins, Johnny Osborne, we've had 135 boats come across. Remember, this is over a 200-boat tournament. That doesn't mean that 200 guys or 200 boats are going to catch bass out there. How'd your day go? I would call five. That's about it. Five, no, you know, better than the other five by about a, a few hundreds. 10.07 for your five. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, sir. That's two uh, our back-to-back -back bags that were 10-0 something. Josh Butler, Jeb Tate, how'd it go out there? Uh, it, it had its highs and its lows today. Um, All right, Jeb, we got five bass. What are they going to weigh? Maybe 13, 14 tops. 13, 14, you're right on the money. 13, 63, but it's another good points paying day. Oh, yeah, I mean, did better than we thought we would. I mean, I'm just happy to have a limit, really. And Guttersville, how'd it go? 11th. 11th, so you, you did... you. You still did. You still in it. You still doing good. Yeah, for now. I mean, <laughs> for now. There's still three tournaments. Keep left. thinking positive. I like that. For now. Good job. We'll see you. Thank you, Jeff. Blake Harper, Bo Quinn. Five bass. That's a good thing. That's good the, not the right five. That's about the only good thing. <laughs> You're smiling though. It was a good day on the water. Had to be. No, it wasn't. Why? You got five. Oh. <laughs> now I see why you're laughing. Five for 658. Those are not the size I was expecting for me on these five bags. But they're points. You got to look. You got to turn those into positives. Yeah, they're points. But um, I'll tell you this. It was a tough day. Man, everything changed. We fished hard, worked hard at it. But, hey, that's the, that's the fruit of our labor right there. How did a pre-fish go? You know, pre-fish was up and down. One day we, really, we caught them really good. And then yesterday we came out and did something different, caught them, and kind of changed our game plan. Um, but, I mean, it's a learning experience. We should stay with what we knew and, and, and not kind of went forward. But next time, we'll, we'll, we'll get them next time. Got to make those judgments. Thank you, guys. And, and, and good job. We'll see you at Smith Lake. I was wondering. I saw five on there, but he was smiling like, oh, no, that's not the five I was looking for. <laughs> All right. How did it go for you? 
It was really tough. I had poor execution. That's all it was to it. Hal Hendricks, Chris Jackson. Now, what y'all were runner up at the last time, it seemed like 840 out there today. You got to look at it as okay, it's another points day. Yeah, it's it, well, it's just like Jody said, you know, it's, it's not a sprint, but it's a marathon. But the marathon's are almost getting close to the finish line, so we're going to have to pick it up. Now, you're not even halfway there yet. Yeah, we still got to pick it up. I don't like being this far back in the points. We'll see you, Smith Lake. We'll see you there. All right, thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. Uh, Randall Ware and Ken Crossley. Five bass limit, that's a good thing. Yeah, pretty good. You not got Kenny from South Park, you are all bundled up. <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> Five bass limit for 848. Add those points up, see you Smith Lake, right? Yes, sir. Tear it up there, we'll see you. <laughs> Kyle Glasgow, Luke Glasgow, come on over here. How'd it go? Not so good. Not, not having it, huh? Let's find out. Glasgow and Glasgow, what do you think they're going to weigh? Seven pounds. Seven, he's saying. You're an underguesser. I already identified that because it's over 10, 10, 14. He's not a good guesser. No. He was looking at you like, really? <laughs> well, I guess that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so that's why he's looking at you going like, I thought you told me they were seven. <laughs> yes, right. Good job. Congratulations on that catch. Gary Thompson, Marty Gentry. I see a single fish. That's a good thing compared to not coming across here at all. I just enjoyed fishing. I bet you did. Let's find out. What the singles go away, 275, so not bad, and it's, it's points. It's points. I wish it was 1275. I bet you do, or 2275. I, I hear you. Todd Watts, Craig, Watt, Craig Watts. All right, I'm seeing four guys coming across with five fish limits coming up next. So five fish, are they the right five? No. Shaking your head, no, not going to happen. What are these five going to weigh? 13. 13, he's guessing. Not just shy of 13, looks like 12.05, but they add up for points. That's still a good day here today. It's not, it's not too bad. Good, good job. Thank you. All right, we'll see you all at uh, Smith Lake. Jeremy Utley, Robert Boyd. I'm seeing some limits coming across, so maybe the late afternoon is starting to pay off. Again, our leaders right now, 20.22 pounds, Greg Tucker and Dylan Tucker, Utley and Boyd. You got that? You got 20? Lord, no. Not happening. You got half of that? Oh, yeah. We're oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then some. 1531. That's a good day. Yeah, it's a pretty good day. Yeah. How, do, how much do you rash out in the boat? <laughs> it's been all day. All day. Just a butt whooping either way? Yeah. Well, you you do the MCM for the elite, right? I, I, I have. I, don't, I haven't done it in a long time. My buddy Dave Mercer does. Well, have you ever seen a man break one off, the same fish off twice? No, not, not too often. Yeah, when you said... Are you shaggy heading? And no, he's throwing a... Big splinter bait on 20 pound line, broke off a five pound spotted bass. And he does it again? Well, 20 minutes later, he snags his line, starts hand lining, but then he breaks it off again. I mean, I can't get no help. You told me he wasn't the rightest bulb on the tree. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty damn. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see y'all at Smith Lake. Thank you guys. Yeah, that's not so good. Matt McSweeney, Rod McSweeney, five bass. That's the limit. That's all you can get. We had a ball. And let's find out what this ball totals. 1391. Not too bad. It's some decent points there. Yeah, we have better than Gunnersville. <laughs> you could just think of the positives and, and and you got Smith Lake to look forward to. And we're looking forward to that. We grew up on Smith Lake. So let's turn it on next time. Team, we'll see how you do, guys. Thank you. Chris Back, Tyler Hester, five bass limit. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you. How uh, will these five weigh? Up to almost eleven pounds, ten ninety three, not too bad of a day. Uh, long day. Y'all look like the warmest crew, though. Y'all, y'all, y'all were built for warmth. I'm ready for some warmth. Oh, it's, it's cold, huh? Um, yeah. Y'all make a run, a long run today. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, good job. We'll see you. We'll see you, at Smith Lake. John Scog and Aaron Ledbetter. Another five bass limit. So bam, bam, bam. I'm starting to see. Uh, was it the afternoon better for you or no? It was about the same all day. Just a lot of small fish. How many did you think he caught? 11.57 your total. How many do you think he caught total? 50 plus. Oh, shut up. 50 bass. Yeah, most of them about 12 inches long. Oh, that, that hurts. <laughs> yeah. So you, you catch a three pounder, you're like, oh, yeah. oh absolutely. It's panic time. <laughs> it feels like a five yeah, all right. Thank you, sir. Good job. Congratulations. Trey Coyle, Blaine Junkin, you got five bass in, uh, in the live well coming across stage. Are they good five? They're okay. They shrank on us a little bit. We started pulling them out of the live well, but. <laughs> well, they thought they had 20 pounds, but they got 12.01, it looks like. Uh, not, not too bad. No, it wasn't bad. Uh, we didn't have much of anything uh, after yesterday. We dumped the boat in the water for a few hours. Um, but, I mean, we put some, a little something together and did the best we could with it. You 
figured it out. Got over 12 pounds. Thank you, guys. Good job. John Lee Sasser, Bradley Nix with four bass. Coming across the stage today, four. Could you get the fit? Did you have the fifth one on? No, we had a few short fish we threw back. Uh, we How close were the shorts? Oh, they were like 10 or 11 inches. Okay, so you're right under that. 647 for your total today. Not good. Not going to have you. Not happy with it. We'll see you at Smith Lake. You can turn it on there. Thank you, guys. Keith Youngblood, Ty Youngblood. Any relation to Jack Youngblood, no football player? Uh, nothing to know of. No. Uh, maybe. There's a chance. <laughs> Two fish today. Did each of you catch one? Uh, well, since he's not up here, I'm going to say I caught both of them. Okay, you caught both of them. 332, those are points. Yeah, there you go. That's, That's the way you got to look at it. <laughs> I guess so. All right, we'll see you later. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Let's bring up Nathan Brewer, Michael Brewer. Come on across. They were in boat 160 today. Five bass limit. That's a good thing. Yeah, we didn't think so early. Really? This thing start turning on late, though. Yeah, we done, done a little better. Yeah, you did. 15-10 for your total day. That's a pretty good day, after all. It was still hard. It was a struggle. What were you all throwing? Uh, swim baits. Swim baits. Thank you very much for the information. We'll see you at uh, Smith Lake. Austin Weaver, Pride Weaver. Come on over here. Yeah, and guys uh, in the back, if you can hear me, if you could always stand on the X's or just above, because they'll walk behind you with the, uh, the baskets. Four bass, huh? Couldn't get the fifth. Never could. Uh, shorts? Any short ones? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Don't put them on the fish stretcher. That's not legal. Can't do that. 1027, though. I'll take it, I guess. Good job. It's not too bad. I'm telling you, today was rough. It, it was tougher than I thought it would be. Good job out there. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Dwayne Davis, Ronnie Hadley. We're in boat 167. And I hear they have four bass in live well, right? Yes, sir. Could you? Did you ever have the fifth one on? Nope. No? Not even a short? Nope. Dang, stinks. Four bass going away. 10.06. There's a lot of people right around that 10 bubble. So, I mean, ho hopefully you get on the plus side of that, that point structure. Maybe so. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Thank you, sir. Next up, Michael Stevens, Jr., paired up with Paul Arnold. Five bass. You know, our lead's only 20.22 pounds. You got that? You say that like it ain't much. Yeah, I know. That's how my dad says never say it only when you're talking about money. Well, don't say only when you're talking about weights of bass. 10.06 for you today. You got to look at it as it's a points day, right? Yes, sir. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Thank you. 9.06. What did I say? 10. Well, I gave you that extra pound, but I got to take it back now. 9.06. Sometimes my eyes, I'm, I'm going to stick with this one for now. This, this is doing pretty good. You, you, this left glove is working pretty good. My hand in the pocket is working okay on the other one. Kenneth Johnson, Terry Lee Master, four bass, huh? Yeah, it's a tough day. Could you get a fifth one on? Uh, we've had several fifth ones. Several fives. <laughs> were they unders or just get off? They were striped. Oh, striped bass. That's no good. 8.02. They're delicious, but not good for the yeah, tournament. That's true. All right, 802 for you today. Thank you, sir. Kenneth Johnson and uh, his partner cross. Now we bring up Brian True and Wendell Ketchum. Come on over here. Which one's Wendell? You're in Wendell? If you have a son named Dewey Ketchum, that would be awesome if you did. It, it, if you have a son named Dewey Ketchum, and that would be a bass tournament name if I've ever heard one. I thought about that this morning. 13, 16. Y'all had a pretty good day. Not bad. Not a slow during the middle part of the day. Caught two real quick, but then it got slow. And what were you catching them on? Jig. All day, just jig? Jig. All right, well, good job. Good points day, too. 13, 16. Better than you think after it's all said and done, I can tell you that. Yeah, I did have high cheese on that one, but I thought about it this morning. Jason Workman, Pat Hailstones, five bass. Yes, sir. What are they going to weigh? 1244. 1244. Man, you are good, Nostradamus. 1244 on the money. <laughs> good job. Congratulations on that catch. Jamie Clay Lett and Eric Jig Shelton. How'd it go? Not bad. Not bad. When you say not bad, that means really good. So let's find out what not bad looks like. No, your 12 turned into 1484. Better than okay, right? Yes, absolutely. Good job. Awesome job. All right, let's bring up our next pair, Bradley Jones, Andy Kilgore. Bradley Jones, Andy Kilgore won Neely Henry last year. Let's find out how they do this year. You can leave them there. All right. Difference between years. I didn't get to come to this event last year. 
how's the weather different? How's the water different between last year and this year? The major difference is it's a foot lower than it was last year. So a lot of the fish we caught last year, uh, this dirt right now. And I heard they were dropping during the week, but I think as Greg Pugh said, he thought that the water level rose either today or last night. Yeah, sometime this morning or last night, it did come up a few inches. How did that affect your fishing? Uh, we didn't. We, we never had a good practice, and uh, we just pecked around today, and we did have five good bites, but we only put three of them in the boat. So, does um, does winning an event like this does it give you confidence coming in, or is it some kind of that false thought of? Well, I've done it before, I can do it again, but man, I really don't know what the heck they're doing. No, I mean, water's still a little cool for us, what we like to do, uh, and just the level, but not the... Uh, uh, so it's, it's, it's more the water, not necessarily the, the body of water that you're thinking about. You're not looking at big picture, you're thinking about the level of the water and everything else and having to make those adjustments. Correct, correct. Yeah, the fish just weren't doing what we like to do. Okay, let's take a look at your weight. 1336, so not a bad day here. No, it, it wasn't uh, from the way practice went, but could have been better. Good job on that. Thank you, guys. Stephen Wisdom, John Bryant, boat 175. Quit that. Five bass limit, that's a good thing. Was it a good five bass limit? We think so. I, I'm terrible at a judging fish, but it, it was a great day. We were uh oh, blessed. the partner's looking over your shoulder right now. He wants to see. He thinks it's a good one. It is a good one. 1771 that's a great day yeah man it was a grind though i mean we uh really worked hard to get those fish today and it just kind of all came together um we weren't catching very many fish in practice but they were the, the right ones and you know i told my best friend this morning i was like we're gonna hero or zero now and, you know and so we, we finally you hero zero you 17 you 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 more hero yeah, I'm very thankful for that, um, and, and it, it was a fun day. He carried the weight, though. I mean, he. I'll say, John, what, what were you throwing? What were you catching them on? I was throwing a trap. Really, rattle trap. What was he doing? Uh, the same, uh, but I don't know what it was. They liked me a little bit. Same, same bait, same color. Uh, at the end of the day, yeah, we switched to throwing the same thing. Good job. Do y'all got a big one in there too? That might. What? You got a few good ones. I didn't know if there was a, a 640 in there, but yeah, that was a good day. Also got the nice Alabama Bass Trail signage on her. Yeah, stand on those X's or back it up. Actually, he, he's pretty good on that because Dan knows there. Good job today, guys. Great job. I knew it was going to be good when he was over there. <laughs> he was giving the evil eyeball. All right, Wisdom and Bryant with uh, 1771. And we bring on our next pair, Brighton Nixon and Matt Box. How did it go? Uh, it was terrible. Terrible? You got five. And I'm thankful for those. You can't, you can't be too disappointed with five. They're just not the right five, huh? Yeah, we had a good practice, and uh, our fish moved out, and that's just all there is to it. It happens that way. Water changes. 807 for it today. You just got to look at his points, right? Thank you, sir. All right, let's bring up our next uh, group. Come over here and talk to me, Jared Trailer and John Caleb Wright. Now I'm seeing uh, limits coming across. Watch out behind you. The bass are going to eat you up. Five bass, that's good. Yeah, uh, he pretty well carried the weight today, though. Really? You're on him? Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> I reckon. Is it going to be good? Is it going to be good weight? No, it's not going to be real good. Hey, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. It's not going to be real good. 1396, that's a pretty good day. It's more than we thought. It's more than I thought. What'd you think? I thought about 10. Oh, I can drop it down to that. No, we'll, no, go, we'll, go, with, we'll go with 14. All right, we'll stick with that. It'll help you on those points going into uh, Smith as well. Thank you, guys. C congratulations. Oh, you got a big one, too. I didn't even get to see if it had a big one in there. Let's find out. What boat number were you? 181. 181. We get down in there. There we go. Yep, trailer and right. Ooh, we need a 640 to take the lead for our Mountain Dew Big Bass. It's going to be close, and I think they've got it. 640 is what they needed. 661, a new Mountain Dew Big Bass. 
That's why you were smiling over there going, I might not have had 20, but I got the big bass. That's right. What would you catch it on? Uh, swim bait. What kind? Any size difference? What was, tell me what made it special. What were you looking at? What were you targeting? Uh, we were targeting um, gravel points, gravel bars, and uh, caught it on that, you know, a little four-inch swim bait. Just slowly moving. Oh, slow, slow, real slow today. So how many bites, how, how many fish total did you catch today? Probably 12. That's a good day. Go grab that bad boy and hold it up there for Dano. Over six and a half pounds for that one. 661. That's a that's a toad. How about one more round of applause for him making uh, the Mountain Dew Big Bass? Making it look good. And again, showing you what Neely Henry has. They have the fish. And I'm seeing four pairs coming up next all with five bass limits maybe one of them will have a bass that will overtake that lead andrew warmington and taylor teague a couple of college boys what school do you represent west alabama west alabama what city is that in livingston livingston let's find out what they got five bass you got your limit oh dude you had a good day look at this some college kids with 1804 on the day y'all are doing it right did you bring the whole cheering section out with you Yes, sir. Man, good job. What were you catching them on? Spinnerbait. Spinnerbait, really? What color? Yellow. Yellow. Any white in it at all? Uh, what kind of blades? Uh, big willow. Big willow. Both up on both? Front and back? Just one. Just one. Single blade. Big willow. Huh. You doing the same thing he was doing? Uh, we were mixing it up, but that's what we caught most of them on. Good job. Congratulations. You Go grab some. Hold them up out there. That was awesome. 18 pounds. And yeah, you can weigh a big one if you want. I don't think you're going to be in that 661, but I don't think, but that's a, that's a nice bass. That's the biggest bass you've ever caught on the Alabama Bass Trail at Neely Henry this year. So he goes and grabs the two big ones. I, I, I did he get, he lets you get a, now one of those is bound to have been yours. No, they were both his. <laughs> He was uh, he he was shaking his head. He said, "Man, that's just wrong." Hey, you know, if you would have caught one or two like that, y'all would have been winning this thing. Uh, we'd be way ahead. <laughs> oh man, he needed six sixty one. You got six twenty, so it was closer than I thought. That's a good that's a good day, good catch. Congratulations. Yeah, grab the big one and hold it out there as a single for Dano. How far away did y'all travel to get that one? Uh, we we're probably 10 miles from the dam, I think. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you got you got fans, everybody else out there on stage trying to get you on stage. Good job. So I guess everything they say about Western Alabama is not true after all. They can catch bad. Them boys right there, they're hammers. They're, they do a great job. Doing good. All right, let's bring up David Shoup and uh, Michael Sokoli. Is that right? Sokoli. Like Spicoli, but different. You ever watch Fast Times at Richmond High? No, I don't. No shoes, no shirt, no dice. I, I, I used to be your motto back in high school. 1605. Look at you. You had a good day. Yeah, I did have a good day. I, I wanted to pull out a Spicoli deal right there, and I just could not do it. <laughs> good job. Awesome day. How'd y'all do in Gunnersville? Uh, I had three fish. Three for what? How much weight? Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight, dude. You're moving up today. I'm telling you. Good job. Oh, Ricky Campbell, Packy Lawrence, five bass. That's a good thing, right? I guess. I guess because you're looking at it like it, it might not be the five you wanted. Ten twenty-six, not too bad. And better in practice. Good job. Congratulations on the improving on that practice day. Yeah, I said there were quite a few fives coming in. Everybody seems to have a limit now. I've got four guys in my queue, and all of them have limits. But the question is, as we bring up our next pair, Jason Eccles, Garrett Roberts. Again, guys, once the, uh, the bass have left, you can come over here and talk to me. Are they the right kind of five? Uh, not hardly. Not happening, huh? Let's find out. These five are going to weigh 981. Just got to look at it as a points day. Yeah, it's better in practice. We had a good day. Way to turn it around. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Brock Mosley and Danny Mosley, come on over here. Talk to me. No, put them back in there. Put them back in there. Put them back in there. They lose weight. 
If you do it, that means he hadn't zeroed that, and you're, gonna, you're not going to have as much weight. How'd it go? It looks like he had a pretty good day. Yeah, it wasn't bad, considering it's the second time we've ever been here. It well, yeah, not too bad. Need 2022 to take the lead. 1942, you were close. That's why you were wanting to put them on the scale. Yeah, I mean, we had one fish we couldn't get rid of. If we would have got rid of that one, we would have had it. We would have been up there in contention to win. But What's the single? What What was the small one? Uh, we had a two and a half, two and a quarter, something like that we couldn't get rid of. So just shy of 20 pounds. Go ahead and grab that bad boy on there. And you got a big one in there. Now they all look a lot the same, huh? That's a good, that's a good day, though. Good job, and that unofficially puts them in fourth place. Brock Mosley and Danny Mosley, 1942. And I say fourth place, that's because we actually have a tie for second. I didn't even think of that. Dalton Bobo, Lonnie O'Neill, and Brian Morris and Brian Jett tied at 1984. It's a good day. What did you catch them on? Uh, crankbait mostly. We had a, uh, we got to just where we was covering water. I didn't burn five, six gallons of gas all day and just. That's awesome. Yeah, it made it a lot cheaper. Um, we had a lot more bites. We just couldn't ever get any more big bites to actually stay on. You know, part of crankbait fishing, you're going to lose fish, but that's just part of it. We, uh, I mean, come up here and compete with these locals. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied. What kind of cranking? Uh, shallow cranking, square billing, cranking wood, docks, rip rap, anything we could. Bump into. Yeah, anything we could knock it into. I've done. I've been going through them left and right all day. So. It paid off. Yeah, it was like I said. It was a fun day. It could have been worse. Could have been like Gunnersville. <laughs> It happens there. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Thank you. Jeff Cannon, Sean Brock, come on over here. Five bass. It's tough following that, isn't it? <laughs> it happens. Somebody's got to do it. 11.05. You still had an all right day? It's five fish. I'll take it. Good job. Congratulations on that. Cannon and Brock leave, and we bring up Josh Bragg and Joe Hartley. Winners in Gunnersville, that means that you would be the series points leader, right? Not for now. He says was, so it didn't happen. Five bass, you did it there, just not the right size, huh? Just not the right size. We had some opportunities, but just failed on the opportunities. Okay, let's find out where they move. 13-27, it's going to give you some decent points. Oh, you're still there. You're, you're, you're comfy. I doubt it. I know, I'm telling you, you're there. You're top 25 still, I'm telling you, it's, it's happening. Rex Chambers and Kevin McMahon, come on over here, Rex. Let's see what you got. I don't even want to ask what's in the, in the Yeti sipper there. Coffee. Mountain Dew. Man, dude, <laughs> man, you're good. You're good. How'd it go out there today? Uh, four bass. Couldn't get the fifth one on? No, bad luck, but uh, we just didn't have the bites, and if Smith Lake wasn't next, I'd be dusting off the golf club. 776, but uh, you got to look forward to Smith Lake. I am, for sure. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see you there. We'll see you there soon. Clark Lawrence, Cody Nichols. Again, five bass limits I'm seeing coming across on the scales here. How'd it go? Uh, lower unit went out. That didn't ain't so good. Five bass. How early in the day did that happen? Uh, about three hours ago. Okay, so not that long ago. 8.51 for your total. Got to look at it as points. I mean, you got to find some positive in your day. <laughs> That's about it. Good job with that 8.51. Thank you, sir. Jamie Smith, Michael Raines with a five bass limit. Uh-oh. Who, who's the screamers out there? They've been at the beach all week. Oh, man. That, man, this is, like, this is beach weather right here. How'd it go? Five bass, huh? Yeah, we caught several early. We had a limit at 9 o'clock. We hit a little flurry about an hour ago. Upgraded a little bit. Good job. Upgraded to 14 and a half, 14.50. You're going you, you gonna to get some pictures for your cheering section? You going to go grab a couple of bass? They might want to. Yeah, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and grab a couple. Woo. Our top 10 right now, our 10th place, Steve Wisdom and John Bryant, unofficially 1771. Wisdom and Bryant in 10th, unofficially. In fifth place, uh, Bo Hunter and John Canada as our top five. Thank you, guys. Good job. Joey Walters, Alex Carvel, come on over here. Talk to me. Leave them there. Leave them there. Leave them there. They will snap your hand. Come on over here. You didn't go to Catholic school, did you? They get that ruler out after you. <laughs> How'd it go? They might have got him. I, 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 
look at him. I bet you he got his hand slap a bunch. Yeah, I know he did. I know he did, too. Let's find out. 1370, pretty decent day. It was pretty tough, but we're glad to have him. Good job. Thanks. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Brian Brock, Kobe Newen. Come on over here, guys. Five bass limit. That's all you can do on that end. Yeah, I had three good ones hit it, but all of them missed it. I thought it was guaranteed one or two good ones, but. What were they hitting? Uh, a Trickster Custom Bait Swim Jig. It's the best swim jig out there. If there's another better one, I want to see it. All right, let's find out what you got. These five going to weigh 934 today. I'll give you some points heading towards Smith Lake. Thank you, guys. Right, our next pair making their way up to the scales. Let's find out what Damian Willis and Mark Seward have. Is it a good day? We had a pretty good day. I think we were one bite away from having a pretty good bag today. Well, what was your uh, small fish? Ooh, two and a half. Oh, that's a good day. It's a real good day. Let's find out what these bad, these bad boys weigh. Yep, over 15, over 18, over 19, 1907. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm all right. Let's find out. Uh, let, let's find out where this sits you here in just a second. We can let's see. 1907 puts you in seventh place. That, that's all right. You okay with that? Absolutely. We had a miserable practice, but we got lucky and got four big buys today. It doesn't pay to win practice, does it? That's right. It, it's all about tournament day. Congratulations. Grab a couple bass there. Hold them out there. 1907 puts them in seventh place right now. 1907 was a good year. What happened in 07? Greg Tucker, Dylan Tucker, still in the lead with 20.22 pounds. A little less than half a pound behind in second is Dalton Bobo, Lonnie O'Neill, Brian Morris, and Brian Jett. Both of those guys tied, or those pairs are tied. Mark Price, Brandon Price, two bass is what I'm hearing. Come on over here. He'll take care of them from here. Two fish on the day, huh? Rough day. Good practice. Just didn't didn't catch them today. That, that sounds like the opposite of what those other guys are saying. They said they had a crabby practice and caught them today. We smashed them in practice, man. How, how much uh, weight do you think you had on those 654 for you? How much do you think on your five you had in practice? We had we we left them biting and we had 20 plus. Oh, that's tough. I feel for you. Well, you got Smith Lake. You can turn it around there. Brian Shook, Stephen Barday. Three bass in the live well, huh? Did you have four and five ever on, or are they shorts? That was it. This is all you got. Let's find out what you got. Out of these three bass, three with 568. Just got to look at them. It's not as bass, but it's points right now, right? That's it. It's all you hope for. All right, we'll see you, Smith. Robbie Pelt, Kyle Colley. You got five bass. That's a good thing. I guess. Why well, do you mean you guess? <laughs> They're little. We don't let you have six, but you're saying you need six, seven, or eight, though, huh? We might need ten. Oh, no. Let's see. These five bass. Oh, they're not bad. Five bass weighing 857. We've seen smaller. All right. All right. Thank you. We'll see you, Smith Lake. All right. Let's find out what Rusty Strickland and Charles Hem have. They've got a five bass limit, but are they the right five? Rusty, are they the right five? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, you got 20? I think we do. Let's find out. Let's find out. Here we go. Uh-oh. Hang on. 20.22 is what the lead is. Will it be enough? Yes, 20.02. 20 21.02 at the last second. Sorry about that. 21.02. You thought you had 20. Were you all sandbagging back there in the back going, I'm going to come in late. I'm going to really put it down on them. Well, we're both 199, so not really. So... Some of the guys said late in the day is when they started catching them. Do you think it, it, that worked out for you? Did you have your fish early and throughout the day? I think we had about 17 pounds by 9 o'clock probably. Oh, yeah, so it was a late day for you. 17 pounds by 9, you had to be thinking, I'm really on something. Can I keep this going? Did you change it up or do more of the same pattern later on? Uh, we did the same thing all day. We were flipping. Flipping, flipping what? What was the approach? Soft plastics. Right. No, you're not going to even break it down on what you're talking about. We never let our flipping sticks down all day. Really? So that's a great day, though, when you could have that weight knowing that, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm upgrading. How long, how many upgrades did you have? How many calls? Five. Probably five. Man, that's a good day. Well, go grab a couple of those bags. You got a big one in there? You got one over six and a half? No. Okay, go grab those bass out there. You are our, our leaders right now. I might have said 20.05 or whatever, but it was over 21 pounds. Sometimes, especially the colder I get, my mouth and my mind do not work in conjunction. And they were boat 199. I said it was the Travis Pastrana boat. 
so those X Games fans know who Travis Pastrana fan, uh, Travis Pastrana is. Great job today, guys. So a new leader right here towards the end. Can they hold on? Strickland and him with 21.02, so over a 21-pound bag. Anthony Walker, Candace Walker, seeing five fish in there. Did you catch them all again? Almost, almost. Almost, too. What do you mean almost? Oh, yeah, she caught all of them. No, I caught them. Two's good. 385 for you today. Did you have fun out there? I did. Had a great time. Woo! Oh, man. Is she, did she get crazy like that in the boat when she catches a bass? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows. You're like, baby, keep it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all day long. Hey, you look like you stayed warm, though. I, I mean, they... Before we go, we'd yeah. like to give a shout-out oh, to, hey, to the Walker kids, Olivia, Megan, and Tristan. Woo! You know what they say, never hand a microphone to a crazy person. <laughs> she, she, she got you. She got you. <laughs> Good job. Congratulations. I knew when she went, whoa, I was like, no, I can't let her have the mic. No, I'm just messing. Cody Box, Danny Mitchell, five bass. You got your limit. Yeah, it was a tough day. Tough uh, because you got 923, just not the, not the size you were looking for. Nope. We'll see you at Smith Lake, guys. Thank you. All right, Lanny Guthrie, Lee Hurley. His next four pairs have uh, five fish limits. Will we have over 21 pounds today out of you? Absolutely not. Not happening. No, absolutely not. He wanted to make that definitive. How much are we going to have? Probably 12 pounds. 12 is what he's looking for, but I'll give you more than that. I'll give you 1474. You okay? I'll take it. Take and run. Hurry before he changes it. 1474. Good job, guys. Thank you. Let's bring up Hank Miller, Andrew Miller. Come on over here. Talk to me, because I'm hearing you got a five bass limit. It's five, but it's small. Small five. All right. What were you doing? Rattle trap. Trapping. A lot of grass? Yeah, tried. Tried. Hitting every patch you can, I'm sure. 749 for your five fish today. Thank you, sir. Let's bring up our uh, next pair. Craig Daniel, Jackie Flack. You know what? You were the ABT champions for 2014. We gonna repeat that this year? Well, we're out here trying. Let's find out what you got today. Five bass, going to weigh a grand total of twelve sixty-five. I'll take it. It's points day. And run right. You, yep. The only way you can win the points is be in the points. That's exactly right. And we get to go to my home lake next month. And, Ooh, uh, Smith Lake. Smith Lake. You're looking forward to it already, aren't you? Yes, sir. Licking my lips right. All right. We'll we'll see you there. Good job. Congratulations. The 2014 Alabama Bass Trail Championship winners, and we're going to his home lake next week. Ed Morris, Chris Roll, five bass. That's a good thing. That's good. They good five? 1084. Let's find out. That's 1084. That is all right. <laughs> Not bad. It, it, it points add up, right? That's what it takes. Ed Morris, Chris Roll, they exit the stage, and we bring in Austin Brooks and Tommy Leverett. I got a single on there, right? So we got one bass, and that one could make the difference in points. Yeah, that's what we're mainly thinking on this one. I don't think he's uh, 21 pounds. He may probably move that decimal point over one. Might be two 281. Yeah, uh, there we go. That's there is a two in there. There we go. It, it, it could help you. You got Smith late. Got to look forward to that. That's right. Points. Points will help. All right. We'll see you there, guys. Thank you. Hadley Cohen and Scott Keeling, come on over here. Talk to me. They'll, he'll take those. Y'all ready to get home, huh? Yeah. He's all like, I'm going to lift it on there. How'd it go? Five bass, huh? Uh, it's, I'm tired. Yeah, we lost one. It's going to hurt us a little bit. It would have helped us probably four pounds, three pounds. 14, 24, and, and really, how, did it bust off or shake off? Did it shook off. Uh, that's tough. Well, we'll see you, Smith Lake. Good job today. Tommy Card and Patrick Youngman, four bass on the afternoon coming across the stage. Will they be the right kind to get you up there in the points? How'd you do in Gunnersville? Bad. bad so. Bad. Everything you get is just like gravy right now because this is good, good, good. 721, way to turn it around. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, sir. Ooh, man, I loved his hand warmers. Rob, you're an officer and a gentleman. Let's find out what Dale Greer and Barry Johnson has. Seeing five bass on there, that's a good deal. Five, that's a good deal for us. How many did you catch total? Uh, seven. 
Seven bass. He's five or your five largest. Almost in that 10 pound range. 970. 970 is good. Gunnersville was zero. You caught 970 more than you caught last time, then, huh? Yes, sir. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Maybe be up in that 18 range or better. Brent Crow, James Morgan. Come on over here, Brent. Let's find out what you got. Five bass. Are they the right five? No, not the right five, but they're better than the first five. <laughs> Let's find out what they called who? These five bass. You sitting in points? I think we were 46 at Gunnersville. Well, uh, you're going to be still in there, I think. 12.53. Not too bad today. Yeah, not too bad. Like I said, considering the start and the weather and all that, and this is not my favorite lake. Well, you got Smith Lake. You, you looking forward to that? That is my favorite lake. We'll see you then. <laughs> Thanks, Brett. Ron Hoagland. Alan Geist, come on over here. Yeah, I was like, I, I, I know it gets murdered every time. Guys, Geese, guy, I, I've done it all. Get Geese, five bass for eleven twenty-four. Not a bad day. Just don't call me late for supper. I want man. I'm hungry. How about you? Yeah, I'm ready to go. All right, I'll see you there. Right, thank, you. thank you guys. Clay Madison, Kyle Patterson, five bass limit. Good day. No, sir. Not having it. You got five, but they're the wrong five. Yes, sir. All right, let's find out what these five weigh. They're shaking their heads. These five, oh, man, I thought it was going to stay in a five for 602, but every ounce counts, and uh, it adds up to those points. Good job. Thank you, sir. All right, we'll see you next time. Scott Giddens, Troy Mims. See the five bass limit for you guys. That's a good thing. Good five? Decent five. Decent five. What's five. decent? Give me, the, give me the guess. Uh, ten. 10 pounds, he's saying, I'm going to say you're a very good guesser. 10, 19, not too bad. Not too bad. We'll see you at Smith Lake. Thank you, sir. One exits. Another comes back on stage. Come and talk to me. Josh Gibson and Chris Blackwood, boat 206. That means you were the last boat out, right? Yes, sir. I had to get on K last night and ask her if I made her mad because the last two events I've been toward the bottom. But that could be a good thing. I mean, it's almost some of the guys today would have said, I, I would have paid you to be 206. The later in the day, they were catching them better. No, nah, not for us. We wanted to be early. 596 for your catch out there today. Just got to look at it as a point stay, and we'll see you at Smith Lake. Right? Thank you, guys. James Slussmeyer and Louis LaCroix, five bass limit. Only got a few more anglers coming across the stage. You got a good five bass limit? No, sir. Not happening. What are they going to weigh? Let's find out. He's saying 10, you're not too bad. 948, 948. We'll see you at Smith Lake, guys. Thank you. And our next pair, Brian Johnson, Brandon Gross, five fish limit. Is it a good five fish limit? No, sir. But it is a five fish limit, right? <laughs> Let's find out. And, and you know, you look good to Phoenix, Phoenix boat gear. I mean, you're, you're all dressed out now. 12.73, that's not a bad day. 12.73, that's not bad at all. Well, we had a whole lot better day than we anticipated on having. Why? Practice go bad? Caught one fish yesterday in practice. You, you, you stomped it today. Then. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. All right, we'll see you at Smith Lake. And, uh, yeah, our favorite pair coming up next, Garrett Ryan Langer and Michael Webster. You're our favorites because you're the last ones to come across, but uh, I know you didn't want to come across with three. You wanted five. Did you ever had four or five on? No. Tough day. Awful day. Three fish weighing 583 for you today. Just got to look at his points, and hopefully uh, it'll help towards that championship. Yeah, more than I thought. <laughs> we'll see it. We'll see you there, and uh, we can take some off if you want, but 583 is what you got. So I'm waiting for the official word. Jody's going to take a look over there and get clearance. If everybody's checked in and come across, we don't have to worry about it. All right, this tells you how good the lake is, though, and how the people wanted to come across and how tight the championship is because we've had – not an ounce separate first and second. We've had a hundredth of a pound. A hundredth of a pound separate first and second. And big fish as well as uh, the tournament so far this year. So every point makes a difference. I think we had 206 boats leave this morning. We had 198 boats come across uh, the stage today. So 198. So five of them did not come across over 1,897 pounds of bass, 820 fish uh, have been weighed in today. So we're waiting for the official word from Jody and Kay, and they have to take care of some duties. I'd like to thank everybody watching for the AlabamaBassTrail.org. You see the ladies over there with all the gear. If you want any fine Alabama Bass Trail gear, you can get it. 
just to the left, or as the right as you're facing the stage. So, so what's the word? We are done. That's it. All of our anglers are in. Everybody that's going to weigh in has already weighed in, and it looks like it's time to pay these guys some money. All right. So uh, they do start printing the checks almost immediately. Uh, they have to take care of some some business duties out there. We have a random act of kindness too. I'm not sure which number that is. Let me see if if oh, K is not here. So I do not know the random act of kindness. Do you remember it? Yeah, I'm not going to say it if I don't know it for sure. But let me give you, we pay a 40 places, but let me give you the top 10. Or actually, our, our winning weight unofficially was 2102. Tenth place is 1804. 20th place looks to be 1551. Waylon Hancock and Timothy Little. 30th place. Jamie Smith and Michael Raines was 1450. 35th, Joey Walters and Alex Carvel with 1370. And 40th place with a five fish limit of 1343 is Chad Greason and Robbie Evans. I do not have our, uh, our random act of kindness, but as soon as I do find that out, I will get that to you. So we're going to step aside for just a moment. We'll have our payout uh, with our winners and our check presentation here in just a moment. Thanks for watching AlabamaBassTrail.org for those of you watching around the world. All right, Dano, you can make your way back over here. Get out of the camera. All right, we'll work our way and do our... Yeah, we'll do our top three as far as presentation up here, and then we'll do everything down there in front and cut down on time, but do the, the pictures with the top three. And top three is actually a, a, two top threes, or thirds, actually. All right, Alabama Bass Trail, stop number two of the North Neely Henry on the Coosa River, taking the win with a five fish limit and a weight of 21.02 pounds. $10,000 richer, Rusty Strickland and Charles Hem. Round of applause for you sticking around throughout today. Actually, these guys are going to take home about $17,000. They are enrolled in the Phoenix First Flight, so that's an additional $7,000 bonus. So today, for one day of fishing, $17,000 for these guys. Oh, man, that's good. I didn't know if they had qualified for that, but that is awesome. Good job. Okay, hop in there, guys. Get on your... Your exes? So yeah, 17K for the day, not too shabby. Obviously has a Freedom Marine Phoenix boat. So cold, huh? And windy. Just having one of those hair days. So not only taking uh, the big check, actually the big check stays, but you'd rather have the paper one anyway, wouldn't you? $10,000 richer. Congratulations to Strickland and him. And 225 points to go with it as well. Second place with a five fish limit. They led, had the lead for quite a while today with 20.22 pounds. Taking second in $5,000, Greg Tucker and Dylan Tucker. Team Tucker in second. Congratulations, guys. You can clap for the top three. Then you can keep your hands in your pockets. Listen. $2,500 a piece richer. And we had a tie for third place. Taking home $3,500 with a weight of 1984. The team of Dalton Bobo and Lonnie O'Neill in a tie for third. $1,750 each. Need a wind block for Katie's hair. 
you dance like that, you got that little tattoo playing peeky boo on your back. So 3,500 goes to thirds. So that means we do it again for Brian Morris and Brian Jett, led by that 6.25 pound bass, a total of 1,984, good enough for a tie for third, and the 223 points that go with it. Fifth place, five fish limit with 1942 goes to Brock Mosley and Denny Mosley. Congratulations, guys. And Kay will be down there uh, at the, the Phoenix boat. Make things a little quicker for everybody. In sixth place, 1941 with their five fish limit, Jonathan Canada and Bo Hunter in six and taking home $1,000. So Mosley and Mosley in fifth with two grand. Canada and Hunter in six. Seventh place, Mitch Mitchell and Jordan Green, $900 richer, a total of 1931, led by that 447. Eighth place, Damian Willis, Mark Stewart with 1907, good enough for $800 in an eighth place. Ninth place, a total of 1820 led by that 6.12 pound bass, Adam Bain, Chris Colley, taking home $700. In 10th place with 1804 led by a 6.20 pound bass, Andrew Warrington and Taylor Teague rounding out the top 10 and $600. Congratulations guys, taking home that 216 points as well. Craig Balloon, Jason Morgan in 11th with 1782 on the afternoon and $500. $500 goes to Steve Wisdom and John Bryant in 12th with 1771. In 13th, David Palmer, Chris Hopper, five bass weighing 1766, led by that 6.40 pound bass and $500 richer. Scott Ashley, Taylor Ashley in 14th at 17.33. At a 5.44 pound biggin, good enough for $500 in 14th. 15th goes to Cameron Gottney and Jim Leary in 15th with 16.24 on the afternoon. And 500. 16th place, Michael Sicoli and David Shoup with 16.05 on the afternoon. 17th place, Charlie Cummings, Greg Pugh with 15.67 on the afternoon, good enough for 17th and 209 points. Behind them in 18th, Craig Grubbs and Matt Ferguson with 15.57 led by that 4.11 pound bass. It's good enough for 500. 19th place, Tim Hurst, Mark McCaig with 15.53 on the day. Good enough for 19th place, 20th goes to Waylon Hancock and Timothy Little with 1551 on the afternoon, led by the 5.24 pound bass. 21st, Jeremy Utley and Robert Boyd, five fish weighing 1531 on the day and $500 richer. 22nd place goes to Jason Borden and Steve Lowry, five bass weighing 1525. Michael Brewer and Nathan Brewer, five fish weighing 1510, taking on $500 and 203 points in the process. 24th place, Jimmy Mason, Lance Walker, five bass weighing 1507 on the day. The top 25 for them and rounding out the top 25, Blake Hall and Dustin Cannell, five bass weighing 15 pounds even and four and a quarter with their big one. 
In 26th place, Ronnie Rogers, Jackie Quillen, four back. Sorry about that. Rogers and Quillen, four bass, weighing 573, the big one, but 1484 for those four fish. Actually, may be the only, yeah, they're the only ones with four bass in that top 40. Uh, Jamie Clay Lett and Eric Shelton in 26, also with 1484 with their five bass limit. 28th place, John Wellborn and Wesley Sams, five bass for 14.82. And the weights were close. 29th place, Lanny Guthrie. Guthrie and Hurley in 29th. 30th place goes to Jamie Smith and Michael Raines with 14.50. 31st for Hadley Cohen and Scott Keeling. Five bass wing, 1424. Also in 31st place, Ross Williams and Brett Evans. Five bass wing, 1424. 33rd goes to Jared Trailer and John Caleb Wright. Five bass wing, 1390s. For 34th, Matt McSweeney, Rod McSweeney with 1391. 35th goes to Joey Walters, Alex Carvel with 1370. Richie and Jones in 36 with 1368. 37th place go 37th goes to Josh Butler and Jeb Tate, five bass weighing 1363. Justin Atkins and Drew Long in 38th with 13.59 and 500. Thirty-ninth place goes to Davis and McGinnis with 13.53, and in 40th place Chad Greason and Robbie Evans with 13.43. That is the 40 cut. Random act of kindness. Seventy-third was a random act of kindness, and that was Tom Toth and Mike Gibbons with ten point six three. Well, that's it. I'm about done as my battery is. Thanks everybody for watching AlabamaBassTrail.org. We'll see you at the next stop here in the North on Smith Lake. Thanks for coming here at Neely Henry. It was another good one, another close.